Hello, I'm ABX Toy Cat, and part four of the Super Flat Survival is here. If you recall, last time we did a pretty good job in setting up. Oh, I shouldn't have started recording. We did a pretty good job on starting up um, <laughs> everyone's favorite and most important thing, which is, of course, a couple of farms. We made our area mob proof around the spawn, and we even uh, went the whole extra level of uh, mob proofing our tree area so that mobs can't spawn in and around where we sleep. It's really handy, but it made me realize something. This actually does work. Pathways are a viable way to stop mobs spawning because they can only spawn on solid non-transparent blocks And so why don't I take advantage of this very same mechanic? I'm using here to force all of the hostile mobs to spawn in one particular area if I do that Then maybe just maybe I can get the iron that I so desperately need because hello I'm toy cat and my big goal today is that I need iron. I've got Free, I, I think I got two or maybe three iron so far. I have two iron ingots so far, and it's a one in 120 chance of dropping more. So getting our hands on it is, it's its hard to say the least. But today we're gonna, we're gonna work past that. And, uh, or we're gonna try to work past that, and we're gonna maybe work past it. It's gonna be a lot of fun, and it's gonna involve so many shovels. Um, but let, in case you're still curious, allow me to explain some more. So we're gonna start the shoveled off area from somewhere around here. So let's just say like 110, uh, roughly. So that means we need to make a minimum four chunk wide area. Also, thank you so much, Ethan, for becoming the 322nd member. Thank you for helping us reach that goal. We'd love to hit 400 members, would be the dream. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a big uh, like area like this, where mobs cannot spawn. Then, as long as we have a four chunk radius, that's 64, that's 128 by 128 chunks, right? No, 64 by 64 would be the radius, but if it's four chunks in every direction, that's 128 by 128 blocks. That needs to have no mobs spawning. That means that we need to, uh, we, we need to place down some, what, what is that? Like, uh, I can't do the maths in my head, but like thousands, 10, over, over 10,000, uh, like pathway blocks need to be placed. And so once we do that, what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to limit all of the mob spawns into one area. We make it dark in that area. We make the mobs spawn up high and fall down. And then we can kill zombies fast enough to hopefully do something. We calculated that if I wanted to just kill zombies overnight myself, and I killed 40 zombies a night, it would take 8 hours. So I think this is probably the best way to do that. It's going to be, uh, let's be honest, entirely nuts. But that's half of the fun, isn't it? So, um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna dig out a nice 128 by 128 area. I think we started at like 100 over there, so we'll go to 228 for now. We can always uh, work inwards later. <laughs> Just to give you an idea of the scale of this project, this is the size of the area we need to make dirt path. It is. It's starting to dawn on me just how big that really is. And then also from over here at 99, it's not a perfect chunk boundary. I think 96 would be. 16 times 6, right? So even 95 or 96 will be the actual starting point. And so from here we go up to 200 and... Oh my god, 224 on this axis. So we're just gonna run, we're gonna use up an entire shovel, and then we need to make another one, and then all the way at 228 is where uh, that becomes done. My god, look at look at the size of this area. Just... <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, extremely nuts is what I came here for, says Lavi uh, Espel XX. Hey, thank you very much for uh, the nice words. I uh, I do appreciate uh, that. You know, aren't, aren't words nice? Can't we say them nicely all the time? So, um, yeah, I love this suplex series. I am for the bucket god, shovels for the shovel throne. So we're going all the way over to 224 over here. This is the edge of another truck. For now, we'll just make this, I don't know, a half, a little slab place that down just so we can see the area and oh my god there's gonna be s we're gonna have to use so many wooden shovels today uh and that's not even cons and then that will mean in the mi if wherever we place it in the area as long as we stand in the center actually we might need to widen it a tiny bit but if we stand in the exact center of that area somewhere like here then over here we can make sure that all the mobs will spawn in one particular area it'll be crazy but it will be fun. By the way, thank you very much for the tips, um, uh, Storm Veridea. Oh, it's... streaming right before I have to get ready for work. Hope you are having a great day, Toy Cat. I, um, f first of all, you know, I'm always interested by your, your shifts. I, I feel like as long as you've been a Toy Cat viewer, you've had these, like, interesting schedules. Which, again, I, I feel like it's a cool way to live life slightly different to the norm. 
uh, you know, go, you know, being slightly off sync is so so beneficial in some ways. But also, epic gamer moment. Wooden tools do be hella epic. Yeah, this is our real best opportunity to do that. But yeah, thank you, Storm Veradare. Thank you, Isaac Comagreen, and thank you, MJDP4351. Uh, it's gonna be a long day today, so let's uh, let's buck in. Is that is that what people say? That sounds like a thing people might say. So yeah, we've got a lot of um, logs. Honestly, probably enough logs that we can make our. Because I'm just gonna make a chest full of these things. Like, it's nice to have these be here. But we're gonna need a second crafting table and a second chest. We'll just admit that to ourselves now. Um, so we'll make a whole stack of these, and then we'll make one of those into a craft. Actually, do I need a second crafting table next to this one? I don't think I do. I think I'm just doing it anyway. <laughs> okay, there we go. We'll just do it anyway, because now my chest can be separate. And then we'll place the chest just up there. This is a logical way to do things. Don't don't ask questions. And now we're gonna craft a ton of wooden shovels, like a whole stack of sticks. Makes 20 shovels. They're all going to go on the ground, which is a bit... Um... Okay, it's actually very annoying the way you... Okay, I'm going to have to use my keyboard just to... Can we Q-craft them onto the ground? No, we can't. We can we can right-click them and then throw them on the ground ourselves. See, again, uh, one of those situations where the keyboard controls are the way to do it, but it's fine. Right-click, throw on ground, right-click, throw on ground, right-click, throw on ground. And then we do everyone's favorite technique of actually... Oh, we are using up our recipes, so it's moving around a little bit. <laughs> and then we do everyone's favorite thing of uh, grabbing all of these shovels. Uh, again, just like move them in like that. And boom, that's how many shovels we have. I think every shovel has less than 100 durability, so we're gonna need about 100 shovels. But for now, this is a good start, right? This is this is the start. Um, I'm in class lol, says Kaisaren. Where do you, oh wait, sorry, Toy Cat, uh, Tizzle for Shizzle, says uh, McBella, good to see you, McBella. How is your evening going? I hope it's going well. Um, Joshua Wright, thank you for the one pound forty nine tip. So yeah, we're gonna make sure we work out chunk boundaries precisely. We want, we don't want to do this all the way and then realize we haven't done it. Again, I think, I think a little bit of maths saves a lot of uh, pain later down the line. And uh, we're gonna put the raw chicken in there and the string too. I'm in class now, says Kaisarin. First of all, where do you, you got lots of questions about where in the world it can be class time. I guess West Coast of America. Second of all, you know what? Class is meant to be where you earn money. I mean, it should be. I, I, one of the most, if we really want to encourage class, I feel as though all we have to do is like make it a paid thing if you're good at it. And then everyone will be so much more excited. Like I would have dropped my school in a heartbeat if there was like a money making opportunity on the site. And I'm just saying, that's uh, that's a problem. So 96 is definitely six times uh, 16, right? Uh, yeah, because 80 would be 16 times five. And so after 96 comes 112. And so that's gonna be our start point. 112 is right here. I'm gonna place down a half slab just so it doesn't get, it's gonna make it a tiny bit uglier, but like it's important to be able to see the boundary. So now this, Oh, we need to go even further that way than we have already. So that's that's fine. Or we could count 96 as our boundary, which is right here, actually. That is very convenient, so sure. That's our boundary. All of this can therefore be dug in just like so, starting at 96. Um, I would like to die like my grandpa in his sleep, not like the other screen people in his car. That is, I, you know what? That is one of those jokes I've heard several times, but I do like the joke a lot. I, uh... You know, you you play on the whole like, oh, I'm talking about something important, and you're like, ah, just kidding. It's a it's a funny joke. Like I I like it. It's a it's high quality. They should pay for going to school like ten pounds a week. Says it's me, Ben. Yeah, I I, I genuinely think that we could make like you know like the fact that someone is like I you know I I don't know for sure if they are, but the fact that someone is off school age and watching this live stream apparently instead of whatever they're doing in school. Um, apparently spending money, so maybe that messes with my whole premise there, but <laughs> I, I feel as though, um, you know, the the single thing that would have made me more interested in school would have just been money. So, um, yeah, in Scotland you do get paid, uh, you do get paid to go to school at a certain age. Oh yeah, they, the, the craziest thing is when I was, um, when I was like 15, anyone age 16 or above got paid just to go to, um, School sixth form like if you're in education you got paid a little bit of money like an educational maintenance It's called the EMEA or something like that um, I, I forget what it was called if you live in the UK, you know what I'm talking about uh, But they scrapped it just as I turned the age where I would have gotten it and th there's been so many points in my life Where something like that happened like uh, they taught everyone in my they taught everyone in my uh, everyone in my school how to swim like right up to where my age is 
and so I don't I don't know swimming man. How how's it work? Someone's gonna have to explain that to me sometime. Um so yeah, minus ninety-six, minus ninety-six. Ah, so I haven't done that correctly. This is actually Yeah, this this is where that block should be. Not over there. Just just so we get this perfectly right. Although technically ninety-six it'd be ninety-five, right? Not because yeah, nine oh yeah, it would be ninety-five because of the fact that um because minus chunks start at zero and not at whatever, it's fine. We we still got this. We'll just dig in this whole area. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a, gonna be a lot of a lot of fun to be had here, I reckon. A lot of zombie killing too. Might as well kill the baby zombie. Might get a uh, might get the iron nugget. You know that. Thirty pounds a week says Laura Sanderson. Oh, was it only thirty pounds a week? Oh, <laughs> like I, I at the time that was a lot. I guess um, for me it would have been a huge amount. But like I feel like it was a lot more. I I remember my biggest pain is um, they uh, when I was in college. My college just would give you 2,000 pounds or 1,000 pounds. I forget what it was. It was like, it was a four digit amount of money as long as you had achieved greater than B grades in three subjects. And I got like two A, whatever you could, I got two A's and 10 C's or something. Like, I don't know, I, I, I'm remembering, like this is the uh, the traffic light thing where you feel like it always stopped at reds, but you just don't remember greens as much as you remember reds. Anyway, um, don't ask me who Joe is. I will not ask you who Joe is. Also, enjoy a fizzy beverage, says uh, John Burns. Uh, and, and thank you very much, by the way, for being a member for eight months in a row. Um, you know what my fizzy beverage today is? Fanta grapefruit or Taronja. You know what the weird thing is? These are sold as American Fantas in the UK. But in America, I hear most people have no idea what these are. Like, we don't have a grapefruit Fanta here. And that's because it's, it's, it's Fanta Americas. Oh look, every time I put the blue cannon shot, it messes with the green screen. Okay, so yeah, this is um, this is this is such a big project, but the end result is going to be worth it. The end result is I will be able to do these things. Um, why does Northern Ireland not not get any good perks? Says uh, it's me, Ben. Your best perk is uh, is not having to die in a car bomb. If that if the, if the government can pull that off for you, I think that's that should be enough, you know. So yeah, ninety six would go out to two hundred twenty four, so all the way out to here. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 224, and now we dig this way. So, um, also, what's your favorite song? Asked Trent Webster. Thank you for the tip, by the way. Um, my favorite song, I don't know if I have one. I I feel as though uh, I, I've got that thing where I'll just listen to a song until I stop wanting to listen to a song, and then I'll be done with it. Like, I'm not a music person. The only thing that has gotten me more into music than before is, like, you know, since I've been driving a bit. Also, thank you, Gerald K. But um, since I've been driving a bit more, uh, now, like, you're in the car and you need to focus visually. Like, your life literally depends on you focusing your visuals. But at the same time... Oh, wait. So this doesn't just go to minus 228. It goes to minus... It actually goes less. It goes to minus 225. Yeah, we'll say 225 just to be safe. So this is where the actual line is. Also, um, Jack Davies, thank you so much for becoming the 323rd member. Um... We are now just 77 members from our girl. That's fun. I like that. Toy Cat is a musicless void. <laughs> Hamilton says uh, Myra V. See, right? Like, yeah, I like Hamilton because there's like a story and there's like history. You know, like, a, I, I don't know what's wrong with me, but I don't like music in the normal way. And whenever I say it to people, they're like, ah, you know, like, it, but it's just, I don't know. I, if I'm going to listen to audio only content, I usually prefer a podcast. You know, that's, that's why I do so much podcasty style content. I assume that someone listening right now you know, maybe maybe you're driving, maybe you're in a situation where you just can't, where you just don't want to look. You just want to shut your eyes and pretend you don't exist or whatever it is. Um, okay, so this is going to be a slab there. And the rest of this is just accidental. So now we want to fill this in. Okay, you know what, chat? I'll let you decide how I fill this in. This is such a large area that I don't even know. Actually, no, we need to find the midpoint first. Also, I love your content. Hope your day was great, says it's Dorian. Dorian. Um, thank you very much for loving my content. I love your content. So, um, yeah, if I stand in the middle here, then nothing should be able to spawn outside of this. I don't know where the middle would be. How do we calculate that? 96 and 224? You work out the middle of that. Uh, so you add 4, you remove 4, that makes 100, 220. So the middle point is 160, 160. I think. I think this is the middle point where we should start building our farm. I think so. Am I, am I right, chat? 
The constant sound of broken shovels is hilarious to me since I'm kind of using this as a podcast, says Danielle. You know what? I've found a flaw in your methodology. Okay, so we'll just place this here to represent a center. We'll make it three blocks high to show that it really is a center. Diagonal lines. Oh yeah, the diagonal lines would have been the smartest way. Make a path from the cross corners. Yeah, I think I'll do that actually. I think I'll do that. So I'll see if this does... Oh god. Um, it's actually a lot more painful to do than you would expect. But now we just connect these diagonally. And if it does diagonally connect, then we're in the money. I don't think it is going to though. I think I did my maths very poorly. Yeah, I think I did it. I, I definitely did my maths <laughs> in a questionable degree of quality. So now what we do is we place a crafting table uh, underneath this slab, um, just because, you know? Again, we, we need to make sure no mobs can spawn on it. That's why we keep placing slabs here. Again, it's, it's not a concern right now, but it will be soon. So we might as well treat it like it's a concern now. And then we're gonna make shovels. We have shovels in a chest lying around, but we'll make some more now. It's fine. So now we're going to actually go diagonally from here and see where this line ends up. Because that's where the center line will be. Endpoint equals start point divided by 2. Endpoint minus start point divided by 2 is the midpoint. So it's actually... Yeah, it's actually 80... It's 96 plus 80, so 176 is the actual... Well, you're not... We're learning something new every day. We're going to have a lot of weird diagonal lines going through this by the end. But that's that's all that matters. So 168 is right here. But this is 168. Oh, wait, yeah. No, I guess it is going to be... Wait. So 164, maybe? But wherever, wherever we get the same coordinates on both axes. 162, 162. I think that's correct. We'll confirm it actually is the right diagonal. If it's one block off, I think that... No, actually, it shouldn't be a block off. It should be a perfect square. Maybe. I hope. If it's not a square, then I made a mistake in it somewhere. <laughs> that I need to correct sooner rather than later. But yeah, every single block, every single uh, shovel we place is another block that mobs can't spawn on. Oh god, yeah. It's off by more than a single block, which is the tolerated error, I'd say, here. How are we off by so many blocks? What is... What did I... So this is 224 on this axis and that we need to work out what this is on that axis. If it's also 224, we need to make sure on that side it goes from 96 to 96. Maybe it's just not 224. Maybe that's my big mistake because math's bad. Uh, it is 160, okay. Thank, thank you, uh, the Gold Ninja 101. Being useful on the internet is a lot of work sometimes. Also, uh, thank you for loving the content, it's Dorian. Yeah, this is 224, but it's at minus 225, so this is actually where that should have been. But that still doesn't solve all of my other issues. You know what? And simply add start, start and endpoint in 2 for the future midpoint. Um, okay, we're just gonna... Oh, no. Okay, so we'll, we'll treat this as the new diagonal corner, and then we'll just go diagonally through here and see where this ends up. Okay, this is this is working. This is This is working great. Yeah, it's just going to end up where my pillar was anyway, in just a slightly quirkier way. Also, am I crazy? Like, I'm looking at the- Oh, also, so I got my- I've got my Fanta from the Americas. Uh, it is grapefruit flavored. I- I don't know who looked at Fanta and thought, you know what would make this- Yeah, this is the exact midpoint right here. If we just ignore whatever's happening there. This- that's the midpoint. That's the point where everything works out great. But I don't know who looked at Fanta and thought, yeah, what we need is we need a grapefruit or Taronza version. But apparently someone did. Actually, that is really good. Okay, you know what? <laughs> I thought this was going to be terrible. I don't really like grapefruit. The only time I really experience it is with um, breakfast juice. New diagonal corner. Um, there we go. We got it. Why do cows have hooves instead of feet? Why do humans have feet instead of hooves? You ever, you ever think about how human normative that question was? I hope you go home and you reevaluate your biases and you try to do a better job next time. I hope you do that. Okay, well, you know what? That makes no sense, but <laughs> that's fine. It doesn't need to make sense. So we're going to go to sleep for another night. Right after we grab a whole new round of shovels. Yeah, we're just going to max out shovels all day, every day. That's all we need. So um, we're also going to get rid of our hoe because today, we're in and our pickaxe too, we're not going to be using any of these tools. 
we're just going to be solely using shovels. So shovel, 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 shovel. Even having a pickaxe and a sword is a little excessive. I think we could argue. Um, but, um, yeah, I, uh, ruby red grapefruit is uh, the best. Maybe I need to try, like, a fresh grapefruit. I've never had, like, a good grapefruit, you know? And I'm going to... Oh, by the way, look at this. I've got my... I've got my IBX toy drink again. Do you like do you like the branding on this? Artisanally crafted um, hand produced beverages. Ooh yeah. It's good. Ooh no. A little bit little bit more of this maybe. There we go. See, look at this. I'm reusing plastic straws. You know what's crazy? It's been this many years into like hating straws and we still have very few like workable like, I, 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 I hear every now and then that someone has worked out how to do a good paper straw. I, I hear that, and I'm like, well, it's, it, I'd hope so. But then, then, then just today, literally today, I, I spent seven pounds on a drink, and I got a paper straw that broke before I could finish it. And it's like, uh, is this like a meme at this point to you? Is this, is this all this is? Is this just a game? Because it's not a game to me. Anyway, so what we're going to do now is in the center of this, where the X hits, because this is close enough to the center, whether it is or not, um, in the very center, which is not where this is, but it's where this is, um, we're gonna dig around a chunk size, actually it doesn't matter how big the area is, but we're gonna do it in roughly a chunk area. So, 160, 160 is the chunk. Yeah, 160, 160 is chunk. So we go up to about 166, 167 let's call it. Um, I'm very worried now. Uh, for now we'll... Yeah, we'll just okay. So, we'll we'll dig a big circle at 167, and we'll also go down to 153. Again, we're, we're going to use 14 by 14 just to make sure like there is a perfectly centered chunk or something here. Down to 153, and so this is the area in which I'm going to be uh, removing the. Yeah, there we go. See, this is the area in which we're going to have mob spawning. Mobs are going to fall down on some trapdoors or some ladders. I don't know how mob mechanics work these days. But I think we use ladder and trapdoor. And so mobs will fall down onto this area here. And they'll be weakened enough that we can punch them to death. If this, if, a, if directly above here is the only place they can spawn, then you know what happens. Good things happen, that's what. So thank you very much, by the way, Cryptid Prince, for becoming a member. Really appreciate you joining the membership club, by the way. Um, it's a cool way to access... A green name, fun emojis, and a and a video of me baby in iron bro. <laughs> I love that we sell I love that that's the sales pitch now, by the way. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna make a staircase up to the farm. Because we're gonna need to access it sometimes. And so we wanna make the staircase out of slabs so that mobs can't spawn on the staircase. So we place a slab and then we place a block and then we place a slab. And then we remove the block and then we jump and we place another one. And the slab. And then we place a, a dirt. Can we place on the side of that? We can't. And then we place another block. And then we place a slab. And I, I don't actually know how we're meant to do this after a certain point. But <laughs> I haven't thought that far ahead. Um, I guess we've got, we've got to do it the opposite way around, right? We've got to place this. No, wait. Yeah, no, I'm not understanding that. Okay, so we place a dirt. And then we place a slab. That was too many blocks. That feels incorrect. Yeah, there we go. we just got to do that. we just got to... Place a dirt block on the side, place a slab. Place a dirt block, place a slab. Place a dirt, and there we go. And then we use this to get at least 30, 23 blocks off the ground. So I'm gonna quickly break the dirt now. Again, the reason we're doing this is because half slabs do not spawn things and we wanna be able to get up to manage our farm and build things, etc. Silicon straws are nice, but they're, they're chewy. Oh, I do love chewy straws. Also, do housewives still happen, says Kaiserin? You gotta, the only way to find out is to be subscribed and then, I don't know. Have you ever, have you ever tried deep frying? It's the most horrifying thing that we just are allowed to do in our own homes. That just doesn't feel okay. It just, it feels very wrong. Um, I would have done a ladder, but a slab steak has works just as well, says this is Chris. Oh yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a good idea. <laughs> you know, we've, uh, we've made our bed and we're gonna, we're gonna sit in it now. So now we go off to the side. I actually kind of like the way this is vibing so far. Okay. And now, now we're at 43 
Oh, minus 42x. What's this? 60? So we're almost where we want to be. Do we have more slabs? We don't. So for now, we'll just, I don't know, place the blocks. And we'll slab them off later. Boom. And now remove this. And then this. And this. Okay. And so... Also, thank you very much, Fisher654, doing the same challenge as you and finally got villagers. Also, um, you got this. Also, use bottle on a cauldron to infinitely get infinite water if it's in raining when you get a bucket. Use bottles on a cauldron. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a fun idea. I don't know why I do with infinite bottled water, though. I don't know, like, why I would want that. So now we just build up from here. Again, we want to use half slabs, but we're out of half slabs. We're using dirt. And so from 167, 167, where we have that dirt on the ground... Oh no, we want to we want to do platforms that are like either two by two or three by three. I think it's two by two. With the idea being on the edge of those platforms. Yeah, we'll we'll like okay, we're gonna go the grid board pattern. Again, I'm trying to just I'm I'm I you really shouldn't make mob farms by just having guessed after like vaguely seeing the mechanic. We should have done some testing or something on this first, but I that's not how I like to do farms. It's three by three. Okay. Why, why would it be 3x3? Three three? Wouldn't 2x2 two two work better? Because we could place... Why? Yeah, wouldn't 2x2 wouldn't two two work better than 3x3? Three three? Um, you're not, not going to think about it too much. You, you sure it's 3x3? Three three? What do you reckon, chat? Am I, am I wrong about this? My feeling is that it should work better. So we'll have one of these blocks be a crafting table, by the way. It still can't spawn in mobs if we just place it underneath. Yeah, if we place, if we remove this, place a crafting table there instead. Spiders get trapped and slow down your rates. Oh, okay, because sp I guess spiders can stand on a two by two, three by three. I think it's three by. Okay, so it's three by three. That's 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 the chat seems to agree. We'll work out why that is as we go, I guess. Um, and then we want to have trap doors on the side. Okay, so we're gonna make we'll make some slabs first. Just make sure we can do this and this, and then. Uh, yeah, we, we don't need to worry about this for now, but we'll have a slab here anyway. And a slab here. And then we remove those dirt blocks, which we can go back for later. Nice. Um, oh, there's a lot of things. We'll, we'll deal with that in a second. Then we're gonna uh, make these into 3x3 three three dirt platforms. Should they be dirt? I guess it doesn't matter what they are. I could make them out of planks just to be like... No, I want, to, I want it to be clear what's coming off the edge. So we're going to make these three by three. So that involves mining those blocks, making this into this, and then that's going to go away, and this is going to become the new thing. And we're going in a checkerboard pattern so that mobs from above can fall down and end up in here. And, you know, again, it's all, it's all hopefully going to work out. So then remove all of this besides using that, and then this goes on the ground too. We need to be there in five seconds. It's going to be fine. In before he builds it in a slime chunk. Oh, yeah, that's an important one to check. What is the... I'm going to look up the slime chunk map for Minecraft Bedrock. So, uh, this is an annoying thing, but it is important that you do this. Slime chunk finder. I think it's, um, chunk base. Okay. So, on the positive... We're on the positive... Negative, positive axis. Negative X, positive Y. So, at negative, um... Okay, negative... 140 positive oh wait no negative 140 positive 160 okay we're good there's no slime chunk anywhere near here there's no there's no slime chunk around here that was that was a scary one i <laughs> if we did all of this work and then it's a slime chunk the amount of pain i will feel um rightfully so too but it's it's good we're fine and so um place over here instead and, uh, yeah, this, so, we, we need this to be roughly a chunk wide, long, whatever else, which means I guess it'll be five of these by five of these. Um, again, we'll, we'll make sure that's correct in a second. Just place some more here. Three blocks. And then after that, we place over to there. Three blocks. And then we go back to, to this little thing. I guess we should work from there. Yeah, I didn't need this block over here at all. And uh, so yeah, the basic idea, like like we mentioned, is that on the side of these, there are going to be trapdoors or ladders, or I, I forget which one it is. But we're going to have the thing that makes the mobs drop down. And then because there, the, there is nowhere else they can spawn besides here, 
they will spawn up here. Bro's literally doing mathematic equations, lol. Yeah, no, it is, it is, um, it is a little intense, the maths that is involved for some of the technical side of Minecraft. Uh, sometimes, you know, like, but I, I mean, like, in, in regards to slime chunks, it's just looking at your coordinates and checking them versus a, a graph or whatever. I wonder if it's possible to get snow if you build high enough, says Darkadest666. Um, My understanding is it actually is, that we will be able to make powdered snow later. We'll have to see if that works out that way. By the way, this grapefruit fanta really is killing it. Ooh. Mmm. Really is, really is working good for me. It's, uh, it goes delightfully with my, my beverage. I bet that means that grapefruits are from Mexico. Because people love to say, like, oh, you need to mix your, your things with a thing from another origin. You know, the phrase single origin, oh, oh, look at that, by the way. I actually, lo I, that looks pretty cool. It's like a less than sign. I think I made modern art by accident. But, uh, yeah, now we're going to grab a few more shovels, because we can never have too many shovels. And then we need to make some, uh, we need to make some trapdoors. Can we bounce a bit? You know, I think we need to bounce a little bit. Let's, let's just decompress. You enjoy the bouncing we did? Okay, we'll do a little bit more bouncing. Things are good. How fun. Have you heard of a Paloma, says Unplanned Baby? I don't think I have heard of a Paloma. That sounds interesting. Oh, I, I know what the problem is. It's because this is the, actually the corner of the, the shoveling we need to do. So I need to place, I need to follow this all the way down right here. Just to be extra sure. Uh, how did you get the mushroom bonus chest? How did I get the mushroom? Was it killing a witch? I, I think it was killing a witch. It might have been a bonus chest thing. Um, so, uh, A Chillin says, dude, how sad is your life? If not, what's your vice? See, I'm I'm really torn on whether, like, not having a vice makes you sad or, like, an ideal human being, too. I, I, like, the way you phrased it is like, oh, yeah, there's, there's two types of people. There's people who enjoy things that are bad for you, and then there's people who aren't enjoying life. No. But, um, I do think there is an interesting, um, a cocktail with, uh, tequila and grapefruit soda. I mean, I think it's only a cocktail if it has free ingredients, right? I guess the third ingredient could be my plastic straw, but, um, no. staying, staying on track. Brown mushrooms always come from the bonus chest. That's interesting. I, uh, lobster rolls. I love lobster rolls. If there's anything... Oh, wait, we're doing, we're doing this too low down. Wait, are we doing this? So this is minus, this is minus 39. And the ground level is minus... I'm gonna guess 61. So chat. No, it's 60 regular. So that means we're gonna need to dig down a block or two, or maybe three, for this to work correctly. You know, that's fine. I, uh... Okay, so, um... Oh my god. Look at look at this from above and realize the work we are doing. <laughs> we need all of that to be path blocks, and then we need this to actually look like something real. Okay, so... Plan is... Uh, use some trap doors, I guess. Oh, these are expensive. On the sides. Because if we place them on the sides... Oh. Wait, how did that... Why... It... Okay, we're not gonna question that now. So instead, we'll just place this way. Oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> okay, so... We'll break that. Oh, it takes a long time to break the... I guess we've just got a wooden uh, axe. Don't eat the straw, I'll actually die. I'll just spontaneously combust. I'm sorry to hear that. But you've just given me more reason to do it. Okay, so now as you can see, mobs will spawn on here and they'll walk off because they'll think it's a full block. But then they'll end up on the ground and then I can eat them and it's great. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll just, for now, we'll just have this many of them. I think we later do something with ladders and I, I again, I don't, I don't know what's happening here for now. For now, we're just going to deal with this mess and make it into not so much of a mess. Trap doors are extremely annoying sometimes. What do you mean sometimes? Am I right? Okay, so there's another one here, but then that is the entire layer. Because we only need, yeah, three, three of these in the corners, and then we're good. I need to do this in mine, says uh, Catfini. Well, treat this as a long extended tutorial. 
Uh, do you want to know how you make the farm? Step one, stop playing super flat. Why would you play on a super flat world? You can play on a world that has all the iron and you don't have to go through this pain. Step two. Um, you know, no, that's, that's all the steps, actually. Okay, so... Now, I actually wonder how we deal with these corners. Like, do we just... I guess it's... I guess the mobs can walk from this one to that trapdoor. Just fine. Okay, then we remove this block and that block. And we just place the last few. One over there. One over here. And one over there. Do, 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 do. I'm actually excited for how this is going to work now. So we've, we've got the we got the mob checkerboarding done. Then we just need to place a roof above this. We'll make the roof out of um, planks just to make sure it's like actually looks like something. Uh, we could probably do something artistic with the wrap, with the uh, roof if we wanted to. Make it like a yeah. I, I reckon we can make it like a pyramid star roof. Um, just to make something like fun of it, right? We have all these blocks, and making this out of dirt was like. It's more a symbolic thing to explain how it works. And so it's a bit boring looking, visually speaking. And so we can kind of fix that with other things. But yeah, just for just for the sake of um, posterity, we make all of the these things now. One, two, three. And then we place one over there, and that's it. And just as we slowly go through these, we make the spawn areas just a little bit more hostile and so yeah any mob that spawns here will fall off onto the ground and given that this is the only place they can possibly spawn we're good and so now i need to make another one of these staircases going up or maybe i could use a ladder no i'll use a um i guess we have to enclose this entire thing also at some point haven't considered how that's going to work either but for now we got we got our trapdoors on it's nice. Let's let's start the slog that is this. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I think a lot of people like the the big effort things. That's that's what the, the super flat thing is kind of fun because you spend this like vulnerable. I need to do something really hard just to get something basic phase of the game for longer. But there is a certain funness to that that we're going to channel today. And while we do this, we're also going to chop down trees every time they get ready to because we only have two stacks of wood. I reckon we might need more given the amount of wood it requires for a trapdoor. Like seriously, look at this. If we make a whole whole stack of wood into planks, we don't even get a whole stack of trapdoors because it's six for... Oh no, we, we will. We'll get just over a stack actually. You mean small effort? Big time. This farm relies on the fact that mobs uh, like to wander around. Yeah, I, I'm. it is one of those weird things when you think about mobs not wandering around and how weird that would look. But in reality, that's like probably pretty normal. It should be pretty normal, at least. So we've got plenty of trapdoors now. we just got to chop the trees, and we got to shovel the dirt. It's so much we're going through, but I, I like a good bit of effort sometimes. You know, like, going back to that vice comment, like, I think one of the vices we all do have, like, it's not called a vice because it's useful for other humans, is this, like, need to do a thing. Um, it doesn't have to be enclosed if the roof extends 15 blocks in every direction. Oh, because that's how much it'll take to get the light not coming in. That might be fun, I guess. Make a big mushroom roof. Oh, we got to stop mobs spawning on the roof, though. So the roof has to be a block and then have a half slab on top. Or maybe we can have a block and then we can have um, stairs on top. Wait, can mobs spawn on stairs? I don't think they can. Uh, turn on, turn all the dirt and the mobs spawn into path blocks. It will increase spawn rates by 73%. See, there's a fun idea, Aquatax. I mean, like, it's not actually but it's a fun idea to say is a fun idea. And so yeah, now we wait for all this to come down. And in the meantime, we shovel some some dirt. We're going to we're gonna have to be creative with how we shovel this. So if you have a fun pattern you'd like to see me do, you probably should say now. And then we're also going to chop these into planks. Uh, just a reminder, we, for some reason, all of the saplings weren't missing previously. So we're now at the point where if we don't get at least one more sapling from this tree... We have the, the... Oh, I guess maybe they got stuck in trees and then something like that happened. But we got we got our saplings. We're fine. We're all good. We can we can live our life again. Happy in the knowledge that everything's going to be okay. And then we're also going to fill in this gap right here between these two lines. Uh, just while we do that. Squiggles, says Cryptid Prince. What do you reckon, chat? Do you think the most fun way to do this would just be to grab a shovel and just go, yep, this is how we're going to do it. And then you come in later and you're like, okay, 
I'm just gonna squiggle in the gaps. <laughs> I mean, it does work, technically speaking. It's just a little bit, it's a little bit of an intense. Yeah, I think it gets less efficient the more free blocks there are to do. So yeah, squiggling, it's an option. I don't think it's a good option though. Did that just drop a sampling? No, it did not. Okay, let's, uh, let's also make this a bit wider. And then the thing at the end a bit wider. A grid pattern. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of a grid pattern, right? Because we could do this. I mean, I'm, I'm going to explain a grid pattern to you as if you've never seen a grid in your life. So chat, do you want me to explain grids to you? It's like, it's like filling it in entirely, but we have gaps. Hi, Mr. Toy Cat. I'm really happy you're continuing this world. This is a really cool challenge, and I'm considering trying this once I finish my village. Thank you so much, Anastasia Crawford. Uh, I do appreciate it. I, um... I do think it is one of these, like, fun challenges, if you want, like, a time-consuming one. Because uh, there, you know, it seems like everything should be impossible, and so every little milestone is a bit better. It's, it's that fun kind of paradox where, you know, if you give the human brain everything it wants, it's not happy. You know, you, you need to, you need to have just a little bit of what you want sometimes. And you need to, or, you, and, and, and like, to get the rest, you need to be able to, like, earn it in some way. Once your brain has earned it, then you're happier once you've got it. Anyway, um, it's, uh, would this challenge work on Java? Would it be easier or harder? Um, it's a lot harder on Java, um, because on, sorry, it's a lot easier on Java, because on Java, uh, structures generate in the flats, because they're not flat, they're super flat. It's a very fun, oh my god, we've already gone through the entire chest. We've made no progress. <laughs> oh, gosh, um. But yeah, so the grid the grid pattern has the problem where filling it in later becomes a bit of a slog. So I think the best thing to do, even though it's like a bit of a painful one, is just to run in a straight line. Maybe do two straight lines at a time, but run in a straight line like this. Every single one of these straight lines is gonna take two shovels and there's 128 of these to do. So with that in mind, we're gonna go through at least 256 wooden shovels. It's a lot of, a lot of shovels, huh? Uh, maybe a little bit more. I'm not. I'm not too sure. Maybe. Maybe a little bit less if this keeps uh, going on the certain pace. But um, yeah, we 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 need a lot of these tools. No structure, sadly. So no stronghold. I was thinking of doing a structured run. The problem is to get structures, you have to make a console world and then tra convert it over. And so you know, if you're a, it's a little bit harder to do if you're a pocket player or whatever else. Um, but yeah. Okay. Now now we go back again. And we do it. And then we break another shovel. <laughs> Honestly, the sound of today's stream, the icon, the the thing we're going to be hearing a lot. It's uh, it's going to be our little, what's the word? Like mascot. The mascot for today's live stream is going to be the sound of a wooden shovel breaking. It's not a sound you get to enjoy very often, but it's a sound that you should learn. You should learn the joy of. Okay, let's go. First time on a uh, stream. This seems super hard, says Christopher Mangan. Good to see you, Christopher. Um, yeah, it's a really hard challenge. I'm gonna gonna level view on that one. There is, uh, it's not easy, but there is a certain joy in the hard challenge for that reason uh, that we're gonna be trying to take up today. Broken shovel ASMR lol says uh, Darkadest six six six. That's a good way to describe it. Broken shovel ASMR. You know, is isn't that what we all want in our lives? I do. Oh, what did we just do there? Not anything smart, let's not. We we almost crafted it and then we just didn't. So yeah, to I'm, I'm gonna make the most room in my inventory. What? Wow, I'm doing a bad job. A, a simple inventory function. So, um, <laughs> by the way, I enjoy your uh, your messages about uh, tipping in the chat, Cat Peeny. I If you wanna ask Toy Cat where he got his wood, tip here. There's literally no place in this video, like, you know, I. I've heard you can find it in the description, but what even is a description? I don't watch it because I'm a live stream viewer. Um, but I've, there's no place in this video where you can find out where I got wood besides that. Um, you expect us to pay to have questions answered, says Roman. A lot of people have that outrage when they hear about the concept of tipping, right? Like, my God, what do you mean you want money to have your... And it's like, no, if you just want to guarantee that your question is answered or at least, you know, looked at, that is what you do. That, you know, like it's a... It's like a, maybe maybe you could call it like the fast pass at Disney or whatever. Where it's like, well, there is physically not enough space for everyone to get on the ride immediately. But you can, so you, you work out capacity controls. And 
I'm sure capacity controls. Yeah, everyone gets angry at a capacity control that doesn't favor them to some extent, right? Um, uh, but like, yeah, that's that's the way you do that. And then the other side thing is that, well, because that money goes to me, it's not just capacity control. It's also supporting something um, that you like. I don't know why. Oh yeah, so I'm just gonna stick to the same pattern. It's premium questions. <laughs> uh, questions as a service. Oh, what did I just do there? What did I just do? But um, yeah, I've always felt like um, Disney Genie Express Fast Pass member for 13 months here says Unplanned Baby. High quality, uh, high quality uh, member message right there. Congrats on 15 months, by the way. That's, you know, how can anyone commit to anything for 15 months? I mean, your parents clearly, you know, accidentally committed to you for nine months. But like, I, uh, I think, I think it's really a, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I have a struggle with like. One of the problems that I have is I will think that I'm doing something forever. Like, yeah, this is a forever thing. And then it will be like just a, like, you know, two or three weeks in a row. Like I got really into climbing for a bit and I want to get back into it, but like I don't make the time for it. And so like, it's my fault that I'm, I'm not climbing more often. And the same is true for so many things that I thought would be like short become. So lots of things that I think are going to be short term, just like, yeah, this is a thing become long term. Um, it's really like, I don't know, weird and surreal in some ways. Like, I don't know, like I, I get into a really big health phase. And I'm like, I don't know how I'm ever gonna be eating kind of healthy again. And then I don't know, what did I eat for dinner today? Actually, no, I had a healthy dinner. But I for lunch today, I had I had a lot of food and maybe maybe a few drinks too. If uh, stuff dies in a uh, bedrock, it drops all of its mobs. I don't know what you mean by that, but yeah, I agree. Stuff dies in bedrock, it drops all of its mobs. Okay, place these down. We have so many trap doors we have to place today. Place these down. I actually want to see what this works like at night. If I just do a few shovels in the surrounding area, I bet it will achieve something good. I'm not going to sign a 15 month lease in my new apartment, but I will commit to another 15 months until I can't have a ship. <laughs> I, uh, I, one, of my, one of my embarrassing quirks is how I've never ever rented an apartment myself. I've only ever sublet someone else's. Um, in a few, yeah, in a few cases I've done that, and I or I've just like had a fixed term. This is it. When you leave, you leave. Like Airbnb or something else. Uh, or I, I guess I've owned my own house, which is a very different uh, ball game, right? You know what sucks about owning a place is like when something goes wrong, you're like, ah, oh, that's my problem. <laughs> I my my favorite thing, like I, I think this is probably a problem that will appear more in the world. Because the more and more standard is that you don't get to own as much, right? Like, you know, like a one of the one of our modern day, um, you know, hyper capitalism communism solutions to something is like, what if you could rent everything? You know, you don't get to own any. Um, and then, but the, the downside is like, you know, when, when you rent a car, you have a different attitude to when you own a car. When you rent a this, you have a different, and it's it's just interesting. You know, things are interesting. Who would have thought? Speaking of things being interesting, um, I'm now gonna make a ton more shovels. And what I wanna do, I had an idea, chat. Tell me if you like my idea. I'm gonna make everything but the dirt and the beef shovels, right? Okay, hear me out. Oh, I guess I have to go back up to craft those. Uh, I rent my local council, so that's their problem. See, right, you, but even when, when you're in from a landlord in particular, if you have that like animosity Glad in your relationship- Glad to see this again. After the third one, I got nervous you wouldn't continue because of the grind. Super happy you are. Thank Have you very much. lobster rolls. <laughs> I had a lobster roll recently and it was amazing. Like I, it, you know, when you haven't done something for a while, you're like, oh, if I haven't done it for a while, it clearly, but no, the lobster roll always continues to amaze. Like the brioche roll, oh yeah, it's so good. There's so many different parts of it. I had my first lobster roll last Friday. Ah, you moved to the big city and now you're now you're enjoying it. It, it is amazing. You, I, I'm I'm hoping. I'm assuming you had it covered in butter, right? That's 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 a minimum in my in my uh, humble opinion. But uh, I hope I hope you had it covered in some butter. Um, I, they they don't even use regular butter. They use clarified butter. I've looked up what clarified butter is before. I still don't understand it. But anyway, yeah, I've got seven shovels in my inventory here. I'm gonna bring them all to the brink of death. And we're gonna have that beautiful moment of breaking seven shovels all at once. It's gonna be it's gonna be an absolute dream. Um, 
No, I was on vacation. It was I was in Florida. I moved at the end of April. Oh, I you, I I I I was under the impression you're already there. Ah, oh, man, you you're still a uh, what's the word for someone who lives not in a big city, a townie? You're still a you're still a, a I don't know a hick. <laughs> a hick feels like a like I know it's not, but like I'm always because of the sounding in that like. You know, there are aggressive sounds in the human language. I feel like CK is like an aggressive one. Like, hick feels like it's a word I can get in trouble for saying. Wish me a happy birthday, Wish you- Wish me a happy birthday, you dumb dumb cat. TLS. <laughs> you know, happy birthday to you. Not happy birthday to you. You call me dumb, so I hate your guts. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. A bumpkin. Ooh, bumpkin. That also feels- that also feels like a, a phrase I, I shouldn't be saying. I, um, I'm still a Burkino in Nuevo Mexicano. You know what? If, if New Mexico's, oh no, I broke it. I need to make another one. If New Mexico is so good, how come old Mexico still exists? Checkmate. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna walk this in from the center because it feels like more progress. And then I'm gonna see tonight what happens? Oh no, I did it again. Okay, I've got to pay attention to my wood. I want this beautiful moment to come off successfully. So, um, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Also, yeah, I, I love the progress this is making. Like, seeing it come out line by line, very satisfying. Okay, so... The slimes are a little bit annoying, but that's, that's fine. Okay, we got, we got all, we got this many wooden shovels down. Gonna grab another one now. And we're gonna see if our mob thing works. Because, again, right now it's daytime. We, we we can build a ceiling over it later to make sure that it does. Actually, I guess during the daytime we don't need this spawn proofing, right? During the daytime we just need to... Oh, yeah. Yeah, we can do all this later. But, again, we'll just test that it works before putting a roof over it, I guess. Okay, chat, are you excited for this? Let me show you Let me show you something amazing. I'm excited for this. Oh, uh, no. Wait, wait. Oh, you slime, please don't ruin my day. Okay, let's go. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the dream. Oh, I've never heard that sound more than twice in a row. And now I get to hear it that many times. So there's another pillager raid. Um, I think we worked out we can't do anything with it. Because they don't drop emeralds unless they're in a raid. For some reason, why does their, why do their drops change depending on the context? It doesn't make any sense to me. But yeah, we just want to see if mobs spawn up there. That's the thing we're ultimately trying to test. We should check where the uh, slime chunk is, and we should dig that in first, by the way. So yeah, mobs are not spawning up there right now, right? Do you see that mob despawn? Mobs? There, yeah, there's no mobs spawning. Do I need to be a certain distance away? Is there a reason they're not spawning? Uh, you'll need to spawn proof it, because sl slime spawn in the day, and they still count towards mob count. So we only need to spawn proof the areas where slimes are. Also, I'm so glad I waited to sleep, because now I can deal with the rain. They've been raiding, so they have booty. But if you kill them the second they spawn in for the rain, you know what I'm just saying, doesn't make much sense. Feels like, feels like a flaw we're all just not talking about. Also, my carrots have all grown. Oh, everything's been growing. I actually have crops. I'm glad we left the crops alone for a bit. You need to be 24 blocks away. But that counts vertically too, right? So that whatever. We'll 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 um we'll find the slime chunks and we'll dig those out now. Wait, it could be thunder. Uh yeah, no, I, I think we can't do anything with thunder without a lightning rod, because we need so much thunder to hit pig lens. Like I think I think that's that's my understanding. I again I I'll admit I have no clue how Minecraft works. What even is a Minecraft? Question I don't know the answer to. Um, yeah, look at that. We got a full set of lever armor, finally. And so now we just take away our wooden sword. And we replant some crops. Probably best to use a hoe after that. Yeah, we'll, we'll hold the hold the ground first. And let's do this. Look how many delightful... Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm a carrot man now. I can eat all the carrots I want. I have unlimited carrot... And then we can use this to breed pigs, which we're going to need, because we need a lot of pigs to make into piglins for this to be successful. Okay, yeah. Uh, so we got four extra carrots, which I'll put where these pumpkins are right now, probably. 
Yeah, and I guess like we'll just break the pumpkins into. It sucks because they're fully grown stems, but I do need the ground. So I'm sorry, but your seeds now. And then we turn the pumpkin seeds into something. Oh, this is very inconvenient placement, actually. How do we make the most of a three by six space? I guess we'll have them both grow into the same spots. Yeah, that's the only way. So we have all of these grow in. And then we have all of this grow in. So that means we have to also break this pumpkin stem. But it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Okay. We got so many pumpkins now. Honestly, this this is the problem with pumpkins. You can grow them like basically infinitely. But what are you going to do with pumpkins? <laughs> the answer is almost always nothing. So yeah, we got a ton of pumpkins. What would I do with my pumpkins, chat? I, I need a farming chest too. Uh, I'll put the chest in the center here. Now we got some of these to grow. Or harvest. Harvest, harvesty, harvesty, harvesty. And then we can use that to plant more. And then, boom. Just just, just moving a little bit forwards. I, I love the little slow maintenance we're doing here. Um, just finish planting those in the ground. Ooh, free potatoes. Yes, please. Oh, look at my potato. Rich. And it's perfectly enough to fit into my hoed ground. Now we're going to cover this with a chest. Because we need a place just for... Just for this stuff to go. Should I be using so many chests? Probably not. Am I still going to keep doing it? Yes. Um, and then we're also going to use my carrots. I don't have any spare carrots. Well, I'm going to feed you later, guys. But I I've got a lot of carrots, so that's going to happen soon. And I'll use my wheat to feed cows, because I think that's a more efficient way of doing things than to directly eat anyway. So just uh, feed all of these guys. Eat some beef. Enjoy the profits. There we go. House of pumpkins. Pumpkin pie is top tier food. If I could get coca beans, it might be. But, no wait, what is pumpkin? Sugar? I wish I could have sugar cane so bad. Do you think I can get sugar cane from a, uh, a wandering trader? I think I might be able to. It's been a while since I, I checked or anything like that. So yeah, we have a lot of bones actually. We could probably bone meal our way. To some pretty healthy success. We could start eating uh, carrots if we wanted to, instead of just raw steak. That's a big, that's a big improvement, big potential improvement. So yeah, we're we're gonna. Oh, there's a, it's just a single pumpkin in here. We'll put that in the pumpkin chest, and then we'll uh, start putting our weird spare boots in here. Which is going to overwhelm the chest, but it's not my problem. I mean, it is my problem, but it's future me's problem, so he can deal with that. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited now. Okay, there's a lot There's a lot happening here, but we can do it. If we all believe together, can we all believe together? That's the question now. So, um, yeah, we need to make 128 shovels or something really dumb like that. So let's, let's do the big craft. So we stand right here, somewhere nice and close to the chest. And we right click until we can't put it in the inventory anymore. Actually, mate, it's probably it's probably just faster to. Can we no we can't move it any faster than this. Um move them all in there. And then we just craft a whole another batch. All the way through the inventory. And then we place as many of those in there as we can. Actually, yeah, if we if we if they fit, they fit, you know. Okay, and now we find the slime chunk. We can probably estimate the slime chunk from where the slime is. But just be extra sure. The slime chunk's between 96, 96, which is here. I've got a map, but I can't show you the map. 96, 96. And, okay, so there's one at 90. There's one at 96. Oh no, that's on the other side of it. Uh, but that's still a problem for me. There's one at 228. Uh, oh god. Okay, there's one. Okay, there's so many slime chunks in the area. Okay, there's just so many slime chunks. There's one at 199. Okay, there's one at 208192 to 193. Okay, can someone store? Oh god. <laughs> I need to make a list of these. There's one at 176 208 to 161223. One seven oh Oh yeah, that's gonna be a pain. Okay, let's just leave those open. One. Okay, you know, but there's so many of them. Let's just conclude it's basically impossible. So we'll go from. Well, there's, there's two next to each other. Uh, oh, no. Okay. There's, there's one at 200, 200. We'll do that one first. And then we'll work our way around. 
There we go. That's my new plan. Okay. So we're going to be doing a lot of, lot of, lot of placing today. Are you ready for this, chat? Are you ready for the most amount of path blocks you've ever seen placed to a wooden shovel? I hope you are. Round the numbers. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. We'll just, we'll start at 200, 200. Place some nice uh, paths on the ground. Or I could keep working from the inside out. I kind of like that one too. I think it's going to cause more issues as we go. But, okay, we'll do 200, 200, then we'll work from the inside out. Because we know 200, 200 is a problem. We'll start at, uh, it'd be 192, 192. This is where our chunk begins, and we go up to like 208. There we go. So this, this chunk, we're gonna just dig in, stop any mobs from spawning. Also, um, clap your hands if you believe in fairies, Toy Cat. I, I think every mythical creature that humans tell each other about have this like tiny bit of truth in the sense that like, so, some stories are so convincing that they basically make fact. You know, like, you ever, have you ever considered if every single person believed in karma, then karma would work. Because if everyone believes in it, then it's real. Right? Like, because if everyone believes that if you're nice to people, then people will be nice to you. Then everyone starts being nice to each other, and it's like, wow, look how nice we're all being to each other. This is all karma working. Um, this, is, this is what I would say is probably behind the invention of, like, the... Because, you know, there's like, there's, like, new age religion and there's old age religion. Old age religion is, like... You know, you, you, there's, you're, you're a bad person and you should feel bad. And New Age Religion is like, well, try and do good. You know, it's like a big difference in our thinking. Like, rather than just trying to explain where Thunder comes from, they try to explain bigger questions about morality and like how, how, how what sort of a life should you be living and how and why and what's, what's the importance of it? What is a good life, you know? Like, that's, that's such a hard open-ended question. And so like, these, these tales become embedded in a culture in such a way that they're like a little bit real. But at the same time, fairies are clearly not. They're an invention. They make very interesting, um, they make very interesting stories, I guess, if nothing else. So, um, yeah, you get an immediately a lesson on religion, says Trimbalio. So if you want to know how this works, if you're just joining for the first time, um, yeah, super flat survival is a lot harder because basically every resource doesn't exist, but it kind of plays to the mechanics of how do you create resources from thin air, right? Like you've got to imagine if you had a world where there was nothing but bedrock, no resources, how would you get things? And for most most blocks and items, it's impossible. Like getting getting the other types of trees, in a regular Minecraft world, you go to the forest for that type of tree. In this world, we need to go to a wandering trader and pray he has the right trade for emeralds. And so we do that. Except, oh, it's not just pray for the right trade. We also have to... Um, we also have to get emeralds because even if we get the right trade, we need emeralds. But there's no there's no emeralds uh, in in this world because there's no ores, so we can trade villagers. There's no villagers in this world. Okay, so you can make a villager. Well, to make a villager, you need a splash potion and a um, and a golden apple, a splash potion of weakness. So you can't brew potions, so there's no way to do it. Except okay, you can you can get a witch to throw a splash potion of weakness at you if you're really lucky, which means you could get it to throw it at a uh, zombie villager. Which means that you can uh, make a villager, and therefore two villagers, if you just get a, uh, a, a splash potion of weakness and a golden apple, except, oh, the golden apple. Like, every single thing requires a previous thing that is usually very easy to get and has multiple paths, but there's one path, and it's usually very hard for so many of the items. Um, and that's, that's, that's like a really interesting way to play, right? Like, uh, it's basically turning up your own difficulty to be extra challenging. Um, and that's kind of the fun. So, as you can see, we've now covered a lot more of the ground and uh, dirt. I'm hoping some mobs spawn tonight. If they don't, I'm going to feel a little bit more sad about myself. I've removed some of the places where slimes can spawn. Also, I think I need to lower my... We'll check. Let's see what my simulation distance is set to. Oh, it's set to 12 chunks. We're going to hey, back out the world. leggings arrived. If you are curious, I have Imagus W on Twitter under <laughs> at Derpy Derpy. Feel free to I check would out love on to... stream. Okay, I'm going to... After the stream chat, I'm going to retweet those images. I need to know what that looks like. And if you want to know what that looks like, uh, at IVX Toy Cat, I'll retweet it. Or, actually, wait, no. You, you give his footage right there. Derky Derky. Derky Derky. You need to see those leggings, internet. 
You need to see them. I need to see them. We all need to see them. Um, if you did the same challenge on Peaceful, it would be crazy difficult. Yeah, that's the funny thing about, like, Peaceful makes this... Peaceful makes Minecraft harder in a few weird ways. But it makes Super Flat Minecraft, like, substantially harder. So, yeah, we're, we're finally getting, like, a substantial area that mobs can't spawn in. And as you can see, the areas where they can now spawn, they spawn in higher quantities. And our goal is to utilize this mechanic to the maximum by having mobs spawn up there. They have to be 24 blocks away. I don't know why they're not spawning. Maybe if we just, like, spawn, look facing backwards. Um, so we're, just, we're gonna kill some mobs on the ground. Just to... Oh, there we go. We had our first mob fall. So he, went, he fell a little bit too... Was that a spider, actually? That was a spider. They have less health, so they can fall less high. Um, so we had our first mob spawn, and it was a spider, which is fine. And then a skeleton spawned in there. Yeah, we need to we need to work out the ground for this. I'm gonna do it later. Um, but um, yeah, basically, okay. Basically, the idea is simple. Ouchie! Oh, so many hits from one skeleton. Basically, yeah, we, we, we want mobs to spawn up there and pull down. It's not working perfectly right now. We got one spider to do it, though, which proves the working of it. I just want to have a zombie fall down so you can see my... Like, I'm sure you will understand what I'm trying to describe. But I want you to see it, you know? I shouldn't have eaten wrong flesh. I always regret starting to eat wrong flesh. Okay, so as you can see, we stand around the area. And we're gonna, we're gonna see this. There we go, a creeper. The creeper fell, falls down now. But here's the magical thing. The creeper doesn't fall... Actually, wait, the creeper will get killed by this. Let's get a music disc, because the creeper's basically dead. He's got one hit of whatever in him. Maybe two hits. Let's test that. One hit. So the creeper has two hits in him, which means we should dig down one block to make sure he has one hit. And then, oh god, we're going to die. Um, so yeah, the premise works. We've only got a skeleton. We've only got a creeper and a spider so far. But I assure you it works for every other mob thing. Um, okay. Boom. I, I... I think we finally have our first sign of, like, positive progress in a while. Also, how did the boats... Zombies get in the boat. A little bit confused. I'll murder them anyway. Oh, no, I won't. <laughs> Not after that attitude. Okay, we're just gonna stand a little further away. I wonder why boats, zombies and boats have such a long range. We'll put the creeper in the boat. There we go. So yeah, they don't drop their drop unless you kill them. I think the rare drops at least. I'm not sure if that's even true. You know what? Is anything true? What is love? Um, so yeah, we are going through a lot of wood, which means we need to make sure we keep chopping down our trees and replenishing those too. Uh, which we're going to keep doing. More boats. Yeah, maybe, maybe boats would solve all my problems, honestly. In Java, loot rates are possibly higher, so it might be easier. I heard that the loot rates were higher during my stream, and I believed it, and it's some, something embarrassing. Okay, can I tell you one of the hardest things to do? Partially, like, as a YouTuber, but also, like, as a human being, right? Oh, also. Um, oopsie. Um, but one of, the, one of the hardest things to do is to, like, admit that you made a mistake. I think, like, it's funny that this is such a deeply ingrained thing in us. We'd be so much better as a species if we'd be like, ah, I messed up. But we have like, like, I guess pride is like this dangerous emotion. And so, um, it's, it's something I'm always trying to counteract. And one of, one of my mistakes is someone told me in the last stream that Java had a higher chance of getting iron ingots as a drop from zombies. And, um, I believed it, but I, I looked into it later. I, I found no evidence to back that up. If you put buttons on every other block, spiders can't spawn, says Shen Storm. Yeah, if I just put a button in the middle of the platform, I'm assuming that spiders wouldn't spawn there. I could be wrong, but that's my that's my feeling. Also, why is the spider coming after me so bad? <laughs> it's very terrifying. Also, I'm not picking up the blocks. Hello? Oh, okay. Usually when the blocks stop working, that's my sign that the my PC has crashed. Because Minecraft can still run when Windows crashes. I, in my ex, my weird experience. Um, I didn't know Dark Oak dropped Apple, says Pete Motts. Yeah, it must have been a recent change because I don't remember that being a feature either. But every time I, I chop down Dark Oak, I do get... I do get apples. Will be useful at some point. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's, it's incredibly strange to me as well. I'm 
glad it's not just me that was confused by that. Uh. <laughs> so yeah, how's everyone's day been? Mine has been good. Yeah, yeah, you thought I was asking about yours? I was just trying to talk about my day. You thought that was a fair, um, fair, fair conversation where we're both getting a shake? Nah, tricked you. Tricked you real good, didn't I? Um, Birch can too. Ah, oh, no, this is, see, Minecraft has come too far. We have too many newfangled techniques and ways, it, it's, it's too much. We need to go back, back to when there were no blocks and everything sucked. Let's, let's go back to the days where things weren't good. Because at least I would understand them. Okay, so we're getting some sticks, which is a lovely drop. We also get one of these. Again, we need to, we really need to be in, increasing the number of these that we have, not decreasing. For some reason, my saplings haven't dropped more saplings for a while. I had two trees at one point. It was a beautiful time. But, um, my day was okay. How is yours going? Keep an eye on those saplings. I'm glad to hear, David Solomana. Also, I started off bad and in good, says Cat Beanie. That's always what you like to see. You like to see progression. You like to see positive movement. Um, Birch can't actually drop apples, says, hmm. Yeah, this is the funny thing about, like, when I'm streaming, like, I can't test any of these things. I could probably check if I looked into it enough. So I should have to be like, huh, yeah, that's a, that's a good point you're making there with your, with your words <laughs> that I will just trust blindly. We're going to combine the axes together. And we're gonna put the slime blocks away too. Yeah, let's 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 tr try and put even more blocks away in a chest, because like yeah, the slime blocks should be in there, and so should the white, and then also the leather, and then that means we can take out more shovels. Yeah, look at look at this shovel edge. Isn't this beautiful? It's the answer is yes. That is beautiful. Um, then we'll put that in there. We'll put that in there. We'll combine this with that. And that's, that's, that's a good, that's a healthy amount of shoveling for now. Oh, yeah, I really, I really need to get, like, I, I don't like that the saplings are vanishing slowly. Like, why is this happening to me? I, I, I had a really good run, and now I'm having a bad run, and it's getting really close to the danger zone. If we run out of wood, what can we even do? We need to go the entire way through with our, yeah, we, we basically, this becomes near impossible if we run out of wood. So we really, really, really need that to come off good. And it seems to work better when you stare at it for reasons I, I'm sure it's just like they despawn or something otherwise. But I need to be very careful about this, and so I shall. Um, almost as beautiful as you, Toy Cat. Do you know what the worst thing is, chat? Do you want to know what, like, the absolute worst thing? Like, worse than anything on this planet. Like, the the epitome of problems in our world. Like, this this... This is something that like really gets me riled up. That really makes me reconsider our place on this planet and whether it's a fair thing. The, the worst thing, the absolute worst thing in the world, in my opinion, like if I had to be honest, if I had to share it with you on a, in a frank and open and transparent way, the absolute bottom of the bottom, the, the barest bones, the minimum level of good a thing can be that, and it is negative amounts of good. That's how bad this thing could, this 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 is. The the absolute worst thing, in my opinion, um, it has to be um, you because it's terrible. It's just it's so awful, in in my humble opinion, when you're you know the, the absolute worst thing, whole world, is your you've got you've got a cup, and you hold it slightly funny like a disposable cup, and the lid comes off and. Now, now, now you gotta put that back on. And it's like, ugh. Huma humanity, I don't know if we've, I don't know if we've, uh, I don't know if we've successfully done anything as a species that we can't achieve this. So yeah, um, hope, hope you enjoyed that, that, uh. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I also, ooh, look at this. We got, we finally got one. See, I, you just, you complain about your cups, and then you get another sapling. We're staying at least level on saplings now, which means I'm at least some distance away from it breaking. Um, so, uh, first world problems, says Ryan B. No, 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 well, okay, you know what, well, the first world is the best world, right? There's no debating that. Like, no one's ever like, actually, have you considered how the second world's the best? No, second world's the worst. Well, actually, second, maybe, maybe the second world is, is given the third world a run for its money, but the first world's where it's at. So the first world problems are clearly the biggest problems. Or maybe you could argue the smallest problems. I mean, I guess that's where the origin of the phrase comes from. Like, very real problems, 
but also problems that you're not meant to complain about because people in Africa have it worse or whatever. Um, but yeah, basically, um, I, I I made a make a composter and then use the pumpkins for bone meal. Yeah, I, I, that's actually a good idea, me, me I or Mel, maybe. I'm not sure how you'd say that. Glue the lid on, says Nutter. I wish they would put some more force in how they put the lids on those things. Uh, for, for real, like, ignoring ignoring my dumb delivery. Like, it happens to me so often. Like, you just squeeze it the wrong way, your lids come off, and your whole day is just ruined. Literally, like, you know, there's, there's, no, point, there's no point trying to do anything else in that day, because you know it's going to go just as badly as this. And, um... At, at some point, why, why, why do we even do this, you know? Buying too much frozen food to fit easily in the freezer. I think everyone I know has this issue. It's, uh, the problem of frozen- Okay, you know what annoys me? Um, you inspired me to stream flat survival, thanks. There's no way, uh, to get stone right, so no way to smelt. I struggle because I can never kill animals. I, um, I really would like to get stone, but I don't believe there's a way to get, um, I don't believe there's a way to get stone. I don't believe there's a way to smelt. If that changes, I'll let you know. Um, but, uh, yeah, basically, uh, okay, keep on shoveling. I, I think, uh, I, th I, th I think that it's one of those real big challenges. Also, aside from Minecraft, I'm really glad that you like the, uh, the, the videos. It's cool, it's, it's cool hearing that there's, like, people watching the videos from all over the world, even from Mexico. I, uh, I had a big bout of like missing Mexico today. I watched a video about it. And I was like, oh yeah, they really do have cheap tacos. That you know, <laughs> it's it's something funny about like the way most people perceive countries is like around food. Like it's one of the biggest things we do, so it's not actually that like tragically wrong. But I always find it funny when like, okay, the thing I miss most about a place always the food, right? Bone mill your dark oaks. That might not be a bad idea. Can you bone mill a single dark oak? I don't think you can. But what happens if we try? No, I don't think we can. So, um, why are you placing a bunch of path down, says Alex B. So, mobs can't spawn on non-full non blocks. They can't spawn... They can only spawn on full blocks. And a path block is 15 sixteenths of a block tall. You can see, this is a full block. This is not a full block. Which means everywhere where there's path, mobs will not spawn. Very handy fact to know indeed, as you can see. Oh yeah, you like that broken noise? Yeah, I like that broken noise. <laughs> but, um... Man, if they ever change that, then all of this mob proofing goes away. And, you know, life becomes pain again. So now we dig down one block here, and then we place path again. Because if a creeper can survive... Yeah, we'll, we'll dig all of this down one block. And then we'll path it up from there. Okay. So it's gonna be a lot of, lot of, lot of breaking dirt. But it'll be fine. I don't think your bone meal will be used if you try it on a single dark oak sapling. You can bone meal one dark oak sapling to get a tree. Bone meal your dark oaks to try and get more saplings. Getting a lot of mixed messages here, internet. Getting a lot of mixed messages. Um, but yeah, we keep digging in a roughly square. I think we're way past the point where we need to be going down, actually. But yeah, we need, we need the grass to get here so we can place our... Um, we need the grass to be here for us to place, place our path. So it's a good thing to do this now. And then we're like still in the midst of it, so it's fine. I just want to see our first zombie fall down this. So we can say that it works. Because we've put, we've put a solid hour and 20 minutes in now. We would have been, we would have statistically, if we'd killed iron, if we'd killed zombies every night, we'd statistically have a, um, okay. So I need to eat the mutton. We'd statistically have a thing right now. Eat, eat, eat the mutton. Okay, we need to grab my sword. We statistically have gotten our first iron ingot from killing zombies. We didn't yet. Because we're not doing it this way. Okay, so just keep on shoveling. There's a lot of zombies spawning around, actually. We could probably use that to our advantage. By the way, have you noticed, after we, 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 after we filled in that slime chunk, there are so many fewer slimes. Even though that's not all of the slime chunks, it's like, I guess, it was the one that was causing the most slimes. And so that's such a cool little, little benefit, I guess. We don't really care about spiders, we're just here for the, for the zombies. We want those iron ingots, and I'm, I'm willing to go for a lot to get them. You can path dirt. You can path dirt? Oh, you can. Okay, well, never mind. 
<laughs> I thought it had to be grass. Like, what am I thinking of? Maybe you can't... I have no idea what I got mixed up with there. Funny, I don't think I miss places much. People sometimes. Activities, maybe? Not places. Yeah, I think, uh, I think I get nostalgia for places as much as people. I saw a video of uh, a guy riding a bike. It was like a bike race. It was doing a really dumb uh, drift uh, in a bike race. And it was in Hong Kong. And I recognized the exact place in Hong Kong. And um, obviously this is a small story in comparison to everyone else during this pandemic. Who's been separated from their families or you know things they care about. But um, the first trip of mine, the very last trip of mine that I was going to do in the COVID era before like, because I think it was like early March. I was like, maybe early April. I was going to fly to Hong Kong. And uh, at the time, everyone was like, it is a really bad idea to be going anywhere right now. Like this COVID, this this whole Corona thing is getting big. And I was like, eh, you know, I'm, I'm taking that risk, you know? Like that's that's fine. Uh, this this is it. And the, the place was going to be Hong Kong. And I, I like, I had this whole thing planned around it. Cause like Hong Kong's like my happy place. I've been there a couple of times. I love it so much. It's like one of those cities I could see myself semi living in. But um, yeah, basically, uh, I uh, I didn't go. Do you guys remember what happened with that Corona thing? Apparently, it wasn't just a small temporary fear. And um, see, I just have this like deep nostalgia. Not yeah, like I, I don't know, like nostalgia feeling of like positive stuff. Same with Vegas. I've had so many happy memories in Vegas because it's like a, it's a place that is there to make happy memories. But I just think positively about it. I'm like ah. Even, even like the dumb things that are in Vegas, but in every city, like the Walmart or like there's this um, there's this Asian plaza, like there's a like a Chinatown, I guess. It's very good there too. It's very good there. Um, you used to be only able to pass path grass, but they changed it so you can path most of the dirt variants. That's a cool change. Glad they made it. Also, Toycat, here is some shovel tax for the hard work. Thank you, Angela <laughs> Van Kampenhelten. I appreciate it. Also, why is it when you break path, you get a full block of dirt, even though a path is slightly less? I'm just saying, you're making it up from thin air. But no, yeah, I really appreciate that, uh, Angela. As indeed anyone who tips. It's uh, it's hard work shoveling, but we do our best, we do. Yeah, this is this is going to be a lot of... Um, it's going to be a large amount of uh, work. But it's, it's one of these projects I'm like happy to work on, just because I, I know, like... If this does work in the end, it allows me to move past this quickly. So I can't have fun in Vegas, lol, so it's sky high kai. Yeah, I, uh, like, I, I had friends, like, one of the cool things about being there is, like, everyone, you know, who visited me, like, whoa, this is a cool, you know, like, it's, it's a cool place to go. There's, there's something, there's something for everyone there. Like, everyone thinks of it as, like, drinking gambling, but there's, there's a lot more. It's just, there's also a lot of drinking and gambling. Um... But um, a lot of terrible things happened. Another bad thing is Russia attacking Ukraine. I, um, you know, I, um, they're the biggest Eurasian country. Why get more pieces of land? The thing is, land is actually not very valuable for most countries. Uh, that's like a, not misconception, but that's like a, that's a common misunderstanding. The, the reason countries want land is not because of the land itself, like having a large amount of it. Like if you have a lot of land, that land is almost always going to be worth something, right? If I have 18 acres, I don't know what an acre is, but if you have 18 acres of land, that's 18 times better than having one acre of land. Um, but if you're a country, land has like a cost as well. You have to enforce it and you, you have to... But, but the, the other thing is land might have natural resources under it. It might have oil. In the case of Ukraine, it's, um, it's a very flat plain, so it's really good for defense. Or it's bad. It's, it's hard to defend against. Um, and that's, you know, like, maybe a problem if you're really paranoid about your neighbors invading you. Um, and so, and it's also really good for, um, it's got a lot of, uh, what's, what's the word? Uh, it's got a lot of, like, far arable land. Like, it's, unlike Russia, which is mostly, um, like, frozen wasteland, Ukraine is the, it's known as the breadbasket of, like, the Soviet Union. It's, like, it's, it's where the stuff comes from. By the way, look at this. We're gonna break some more shovels. It's gonna be good. Yeah, you love, you love to hear it. Okay, so we dig all of these blocks out. We could dig this down to bedrock technically, but we shall not. And now we're out of shovels again. My God, we are we are breaking our way through these, huh? Uh, the whole point of Vegas seems to be getting drunk and/or stoned and then doing other stupid things. I feel as though the there are lots of establishments that stand to make a lot of money if you get very drunk and/or stoned and then do other things. 
Uh, with the other things being the very large casinos that are there. Which is why I think it's like a place where you have to be like on your guard a little bit, right? Of, of you know, all of that stuff happening. Um, combining shovels gets you a 5% bonus in durability. Should we try and make a full... Should we, should we break all of these shovels down to the minimum and then try and combine them to make one full shovel? See how many it takes from like the bare minimum. That sounds like a fun idea. Sounds like a very fun idea. So, um, I think for this by... Wait, chat, what happens if a mob falls on a half slab? Does it take the damage of the bottom block or the half block? I guess we could work it out ourselves. If we fall... Okay, okay, we're gonna do, we're gonna do this, chat. Look at this. So, this is, this is a one half block full. This is a one and a half block full. This is a two and a half block full. This is a three and a half block full. I took half a half damage. If mobs take the same, instead of pathing this up, we can just place slabs down in here. Let's confirm. Yeah, so if I... If I run and jump down to the ground, I take half a half. If I run and jump down to a half slab... Is it from here? Yeah, it's from here. No, wait, I think I messed that up. If I run and jump... Wait, is that... Did I mess that up? I don't even know anymore, chat. <laughs> I think because this is a, a half slab, it kind of messes up the details on this. It's half a heart per block of full, so I assume it will take half of a heart. You know, I haven't thought about it. If anyone can maths, if anyone knows how that should work. I would fix a little bit ago, and I'm 18. There's a lot of stuff to do there. Yeah, right. Like, again, there's like a roller coaster going through a giant recreation of New York. Or like, there's a lot of dumb things, crazy things you can do. Um. But yeah, so how do we guarantee that mobs take an extra half heart of damage? So they die in one hit rather than two. Can we use half slabs, chat? Um, you have grass at your left and path at your right. Ooh, got a little bit of XP. Yeah, the path is getting wider too, and that's helping with the mob spawning issue. It might even be time to get ready to just start prone on the roof. Like, we've made a really nice wide pathway. It's going well. But I think it's I think it's time to get the roof on. So the roof, uh, we need to have a second layer of dirt and stuff, which we'll totally do afterwards. But we need to, okay. So the roof needs to be 15 blocks wider than the thing, and it needs to stop mobs from spawning. Also, where did that where did that slime spawn? Um. But um, yeah, I think I think we can do this. I think so. Russia produces 11% of the world's wheat, while Ukraine produces 3%. Yeah, but do that on a per capita basis, right? Um, like, the, my, my point there was just to say that the reason countries value land is not the land itself. Like, you can have a ton of land, but it's not going to be the land that you necessarily want. Um, you know, like, I don't know, Germany doesn't produce enough iron ore. So even though Germany's pretty big, it might want to go steal a country that has iron ore. Um... Or, you know, we do the modern thing, which is we don't invade our neighbors and we give them money in exchange for the things we want instead. What a crazy concept. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, um... Oh, but going back to what I was saying, yeah, I, I feel like places are a thing it's easy to get nostalgic about. Because, like, people are a changing entity, right? You can miss a person, but you're really missing a person from a fixed point in time, which is a maybe unhealthy thing to do. But you can miss a place because a place, even though the people that make the place, the place, a place really is quite a living thing if you think about it enough. But most people don't think about it enough. And so a place isn't necessarily as much of a living thing. Um, so, okay. Now we're, we're gonna do this. We're gonna put the effort in. It's gonna be hard, but I'm gonna build this roof. We're gonna build the roof really high up just so we can make the farm bigger if we want to. And, um, yeah, we am going to be really careful about this, too. I guess we'll keep making slabs to get up to the roof as well. Yeah, have we got more slabs? We can make more slabs. So I'll make the roof nice and high. Maybe Ukrainian wheat tastes better than Russian wheat. <laughs> See, I felt, I felt, I felt, I felt like I'm going to, like, maybe, maybe there's a, maybe these jokes are, are not okay. But, um... Because again, right now there is a real war going on. I mean, you know, 
I let, let me just clarify. So I, I've been to both Ukraine and Russia. Um, I felt you know it. I just just a small thing here, but like I, I feel as though like a part of me is like glad I did that while I could, because it's gonna be so long until the rest of the world opens up to Russia again. It's gonna be so long until Ukraine is in a state until the airport is in a fit state to like receive passengers, because another country just went in and bombed their major. Air isn't that crazy that happened in the modern age? But, um, uh, getting back to point. So we have one block, and then another block. And then a third block. And now this is a roof. It is directly above where we need it to be. I can't place it for some reason. Oh, because it has to go, like, we have to, like, place like that. There we go. And so now we place our roof in a 15 by 15 space. Yeah, I feel like I should go pyramid style on this. I feel like that's what I want to do. And then we'll just place the half slabs on top and it'll be quirky. Is this the right space? That's the right space, I think. We'll check later if it's 15 by 15. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Is that correct? It looks a little bit over, but I think it's fine. And we go all the way around these edges. We later have to cover these in half slabs. It might be smart to cover them in half slabs now so they don't mess with the the spawner or anything. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's half slab them up. And that'll also make it easier to place blocks on the next layer. Okay, there we go. So now it's covered up here. By the way, doesn't this look so cool? Look at the progress we've made. Isn't this, isn't that just, I, I don't want to stand up here for too long. Okay, go back to the point. Forgets about the points says lovely Ferbo88. And welcome to an, uh, welcome to an IBX Toy Cat live stream. We'll introduce about 100 to 200 points, and we'll answer maybe three of them. If we're lucky, that's that's a good day. On a, on a normal day, maybe a little bit less. And so yeah, we'll have another block there, but we'll start to fill those in later. For now though, let's remove the dirt, because they mess up the vibe of the stair. Let's chop down this block, because again, it, I want to I have a clear separation between my ladders and the thing itself. And let's get down to business. Um, it's like a wheat maze in Alien Drawings, uh, says, um, Thick Sand. I kind of see that. You're doing good, Toy Cat, says DarkerDest666. Thank you for the validation. I think I needed it. You missed a block on the side parallel to the staircase, I think. Let's confirm. It looks correct. What do you, what do you reckon, chat? Oh, no, it, it looks like it can't be. You know, it's fine. It's, it's fine. So, um, yeah, we go down now. Uh, ooh. Yeah, we. There's still a lot of mobs spawning because we haven't dealt with the inside of this yet. But once we do, our problems will go away. Yeah, once we kill the mobs that are in here. Yeah, we're not going to do that now, though. <laughs> we could do it, but we're just not going. To. And now we want to. Okay, okay. You're being very mean to me right now. I would like to say. Gonna break a wall sword. Okay, that was a that was a good use of materials. <laughs> Okay, and we're gonna switch out to another sword. Oh my god, they broke they broke me now. Okay, so just, just in case we get an iron ingot, we didn't. Now we ran away. And we're good. Yeah, so it's it's very intense. Actually, we, we can kill them in the morning. When they're less of a threat to me. Whew. Uh so uh Basically, you're committing zombie manslaughter, says Darfy. Oh no, manslaughter implies that you're doing it unintentionally. I am... This is a very deliberate murder. I would say maybe even genocide. We're targeting them based on their race. Um, and so this is this is an absolute crime against z humanity, except they're zombies. You know, if zombies did exist, right, do you think they would have rights? Because obviously, if there's a zombie apocalypse, there's no such thing as rights. That's, that's why the genre is so appealing to so many. It's because of the idea that, like, you know, what would happen if all of the structures that govern humanity fell? Because um, there's rarely a zombie apocalypse where it's like, oh, your own government still exists. The, the whole thing is, like, government vanishes too. We, we, if the moment there's a zombie apocalypse, the, the, pre the, the things that bind us together all stop existing. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I wonder what happens in a world where we don't, where that doesn't happen, you know? Does... Like, does, how, how, how does that function? Okay, so uh, my girlfriend's obsessed with zombie stuff because it's all social commentary. 
There should be a, uh, also wait one sec. Uh, you should modify your game files and give yourself a cauldron. It'd be way more fun if you had water, says McLovin Mods. See, I'm, this is, this is my version of modifying my game files to get a cauldron. I am modifying the spawn rate of zombies by removing all the places they can spawn besides one. And then I'm going to make them spawn in a place where they will die if they spawn in. Um, so yeah, we're going to quickly confirm. This is 167, 157. And this right here is 167, 171. 167, 157, 167, 171. Imagine getting fined for hiding a family member that turned into a zombie. I mean, imagine... Oh, yeah, we are one block short. Thank you very much, internet stranger. Um, oh, yeah, that's a bit of a pain. So now we'll just see if that's diagonally correct. Does this look diagonally correct to you? Okay, imagine that's not there, right? Oh, these take so long to mine of a... <laughs> oh, I've brought myself a ton of pain. Um, I guess we could just place blocks straight on top of this. It's not that big of a deal. What do you reckon, chat? Is this a straight diagonal line? It's probably fine. Isn't the zombies extinct during the day when they're unextinct during the night? So is it really genocide if they can never become extinct? So, um, okay, you know, one of the most annoying things we do as humans is we redefine words all the time, and sometimes we collectively get words definitions wrong. Um, the classic example of this one is, uh, is, uh, racism, right? What is- wait, okay, you know, I'm- uh, I want to do this because it's like a fun exercise, but like just bringing up the word is going to get some people spicy. So we're going to immediately follow this up with a question about, um, what your favorite color is. But how would you define racism, internet? Um, uh, it's probably something about skin color and what, but if you're uh, if you're on one end of the political spectrum, uh, game mode hard, vindicators spawn and they drop them. Are you sure? Um, but uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm gonna ask you that question, knowing the, the pain that's gonna be brought up here. Um, because my point is that that is such a simple thing. Everyone agrees, right? Everyone agrees that it's like when you discriminate against someone based on that. But if you're certain politically inclined, it's not that. It's based on um, it's based on uh, something. It's power difference and race is how some people would define it. Um, because really, that's the and so because of that, just slight difference. It's like the same basic thing. We all agree it's bad, but then some people have a slightly different definition. That means that now it's a harder thing to say. The same thing is true. Um, the same thing is true for genocide. So I don't know which one the original definition of genocide is, but the way most people, oh, this can't be correct. Yeah, it's not correct. Oopsie. I don't know. Oh wait, no, this is correct. And then we just got to place our blocks below it. We just haven't done that yet. Um, the definition most people would use for genocide is systemic, like murder of an entire race, people, etc., whatever. But um, like, do you have to be successful for it to be a genocide? Most people feel like, yeah, you have to be at least aiming to be successful. But the very first genocide in history is actually, um, it's, it comes from Armenia, in case you're curious. It's a, it's a whole tragic thing. But it's not that they wanted to get rid of all of them. It's just get rid of them based on their race. Like, getting, exterminating a large number of people with race being the defining factor. Right? And so, um... That, that's, that's why, that's why I think genocide is a tricky word, because they're both really bad things, right? I, I, I don't think anyone's in doubt about whether they're both not good, but we are in a little bit of doubt about like, well, you know, when does something become a genocide? Because if you use the definition that, okay, so we, we've gone for enough of that. Um, purple racism is a mindset of person, not what they say. Some people can think something. Yeah, I, I. I, I think, for example, you can, like, there's this interesting thing that the internet has done where all of a sudden your intentions have vanished and all, because, you know, on social media platforms, you can choose not to see sarcasm. You know, like, am I talking really right now? Or, and uh, so that's that's where things get a bit messy, I think. But what's your favorite color, chat? Um, to move on from genocide, what's your favorite color? I, I personally, I like, um, I like this light blue that my Fanta has come in. You know, throw it in my IBX toy drink right now. Yeah, that's right, I'm topping up. It's hopefully good. 
For real, I actually really do love this. Um, it's Taronja uh, Grapefruit Flavored Fanta. What's your favorite Fanta flavor? Yeah, that's gonna be our new question. What's your favorite Fanta flavor, chat? I like Fanta. I think it's a solid beverage. I mean, it's not exactly a transparent beverage, is it? Or a liquid beverage. I mean, it is a liquid beverage. I'm lying to you. I, I don't think it's a solid beverage. I actually think it's a liquid beverage. Um, so yeah, besides wood and, uh, besides wood and dirt, what blocks do we even have to build out of? <laughs> I feel like not many, right? Diet Coke is my favorite Fanta flavor. That's a chaotic choice right there. It's a very chaotic choice. Pineapple Fanta, says uh, McBella. I, 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 I do feel as though pineapple is actually a good flavor. Like, it, it works. Though, if you, if you live in Europe, though, which uh, I know is only true for statistically just under half of you, Try, try a uh, Shokata Fanta. It works. It, it, it doesn't seem like it should work. I don't even know what a Shokata is. It comes from, it doesn't even come from the EU. It comes from like Ukraine for some reason. I don't know why they can't manufacture it in Europe. <gasps> Wait, does that mean they're not making it anymore? Have I just found the, the way that this war hits me personally? Okay, we need to, we need to do something about this internet. I've decided. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna keep mining all of this because I do want the dirt anyway. Um... Oh man, I just ah, oh. are there is my is my Fanta Shokata not gonna be in stock anymore? Oh, I need to I need to go panic buy it. Um, I was talking about this recently with a professional of the mental health variety, and something you know something crazy I think about all the time is humans' inability to be aware of what we are doing. Um, like I I'd like to believe I'm at least sometimes. Self-aware. I, de I definitely am in many situations where I'm lacking it, though. Um, but, like, the biggest example of this is panic buying to me. Every single... No one thinks of themselves as a panic buyer. They think of panic buying as being something other people do. But it's like, no, nah, uh, uh, you know, the, like, uh, whenever when there was a petrol shortage, a ton of people were like, yeah, I'm just gonna, you know, just to avoid all the panic buyers, I'm gonna go buy a little bit more now, so I don't have to buy it when they are. And it's like, no. What you have done is you have become the uh, you know, I don't want to explain this to you. But, like, that's the scary thing about how we work. I saw I saw a thread on Reddit today where a guy's like, um, oh, yeah, so the estate agent said that you've got to offer 10000 over or more on this house uh, to even have a chance. He's just not going to... And uh, I think it's a stupid tactic. But just in case other people fall for it, I'm going to bid 10000 over anyway. It's like you can pretend all you like that you didn't fall for that, but if you're if you're doing what he wants, then you're fallen for his tactic, whether or not you say it or not. Um, IBX Toy Cat, you should make a big Fanta can in your Let's Play world. I think that might be copyright infringement. Toy Cat tax. Also, look out! There's a spider on your chair. <gasps> oh no, the spider! No, I, I, I okay. You know, what? I can tell it's the. Can I can I tell you about the weather internet? Do you want to talk about the weather? I want to talk about the weather. Um. The weather, the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. But um, no, the weather here has gone suddenly really quite hot. Like it's like it's it's genuinely summer temperatures now. Like it's it's late March, and we've given up on winter at least in in London. And uh, you know that's 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 got many benefits. Don't get me wrong. But one of the not benefits. By the way, we just got a perfect rotten flesh without any hunger downside. I'm just gonna take that. I'm just gonna just gonna enjoy that. I am. And then what I'm gonna do is before any mobs spawn in the hole, I'm gonna stand right at the edge of it. And so this will maximize the number of mobs that spawn right over there. Oh, I totally panic bought flushable wipes. <laughs> did you know, I, I, I know everyone's gonna tell you this, but did you know you shouldn't flush them? But, you, I mean, I feel, I feel like I wouldn't feel bad about flushing them. Cause you know, like, they're, re they're called flushable because they'll make it through your pipes, but they get bad when they're in the sewer or whatever. But I also feel as though, like, well, you know, is it, they, they cause some problems in the sewers, but we clearly fix it if we bring it up. It would just be easier to fix it if not. You know, I feel, I feel like that's, that's where a lot of fishies hats gotta be. But yeah, look, look at this. It is, uh, it is, it's, it's very intense so far, but we're finally gonna have some actual zombies spawning in. It's gonna be, I'm gonna stand over here actually, because then there'll be fewer places for mobs to spawn. They won't be able to spawn down here. They'll only be able to spawn up there and around here. It's not going to work at full capacity yet, but it's going to start getting there. 
I tell my BF not to flush those wipes all the time. Kills our toilet Q underscore Q. So there's your darkest, uh, darker destiny. Oh gosh. Six, six, six. Yeah, I, uh, I, I, I think calling them flushable wipes, I, I don't know for sure like what the actual situation on when and why and how they're flushable. Like they clearly must be on some level if they call it that, right? Like, you can't just say things on the internet. So look at this, by the way, our first, oh no, that's a real zombie. Oh, we okay, well, we killed the creeper. So look at that, we can now kill zombies with one hit. Even baby zombies. Oh, this is a whole mess. They're gonna die the moment they hit the ground now because of all of this. Yeah, that's a lot of creeper explosion. <gasps> Another one. Whoa, look how fast it's happening, by the way. Two hit kill zombie with our fist. Okay, so this is this is really cool progress. Um, we're gonna keep on eating. We're gonna keep on killing. And then the zombies are gonna keep on spawning. So this was one that spawned down here, that's why he's not gonna die in two hits. But any zombie that does fall down is gonna be that way. It's gonna be cool. So yeah, we need to remove all this grass and it's, it's a whole thing. We're gonna, we're gonna get to it, don't worry. And we're gonna, we're also gonna spawn proof all this area. But do you see how it's working? The premise, the premise does have legs and that is cool to see. But yeah, let's go back, back to our base. Actually, we'll kill some zombies on the way. Just if they're here anyway. Like I have the wood. Didn't work well. Give me an iron ingot. Okay. I, I just, you know, I feel like if I got one this way, I'd be a little bit more excited about my odds of getting one that way too. Nope. <laughs> Shouldn't hope so much. Okay, so yeah, things are working. It's good. We're, we're an hour and 48 minutes into building this farm. And we got three zombies in the space of about a minute. Which is, which is actually genuinely really good progress. If that's how it's working now, without a roof and without full spawn proof thing, it's a sign that the, the concept, and that's also about extra layers. We can scale this concept, I'm hoping. Um, so hi hi Hypersonic Race 1000 asked, do I have any iron at all? I have two iron ingots so far. I need 10 iron ingots to get water. Um, and so that's why I'm building it. Like I've, I've realized that trying to get that much naturally is just gonna be a uh, never ending task. Well, not never ending but a, a very rarely ending task. I'm gonna put my dirt in this chest. I probably will be able to use that later, but now is not later. And then I'm also gonna eat rotten flesh again today. Um, I'll grab like some of it out of the chest. Do I not have some in the chest? Did I eat all the rotten flesh already? Huh, I guess I might. Oh. And then we're gonna feed some cows. What am I gonna do for food? Uh. I guess I, I guess I'm in wrong flash, yeah. It's fine. No, we'll just we'll bone mill some crops. Treat myself to some bread today. You you get that? Get this right, chat. I'm gonna be a bread eater. That's that's how rich I am now. Right off, we chop down some trees for the stuff we need. Also, how is a slime spawning here? We're gonna have to work that one out. So um, can you combine two iron shovels to save space? I'm hoping I can work out a way to a furnace and then utilize that. Maybe that's just pie in the sky thinking or whatever. But I really want to believe it's possible. And so I'm just kind of believing it even though I have no evidence yet. Just like most people with most things, huh? Like flushable wipes. Whether you believe they are, do flush or not. You're not a sewer expert, man. You don't know. Or, you know, on both ends of that. Which is, you know, I think about the sewer all the time. I'm like, there's just... It's one of the most magical inventions that we don't even think of as being magical because it's just so widespread. But like, really, can we take some time and just think about the fact that like, yeah, you can just put your your waist. Oh my God, why? You monster, jumping into my, stop jumping on my crops. I hate you so much, man. I... Please jump. How did he jump over the fence in the first place? If he can't jump over it now. Like, do I have to, how did you get here? <laughs> I'm so confused. Can he jump back over? Okay, he can't. I don't know how he got there. But he messed up my crops. And I don't appreciate that. Don't appreciate that at all. So yeah, once we've uh, placed all of our seeds, we have some spare seeds for the first time in a while, which I'll just place in there. Okay, we'll, we'll work out a better long-term solution. And now I've got 13 wheat, which uh, still, I could make bread of it, but it's not gonna be a lot of bread. It's better to just make cows. Um, do your thing, cows. And then I'll make one bread. Just as a little treat, you know? Just, just, a, just a little bread treat. Uh, I forgot how annoying slimes are. A uh, little, little bread treat is now sorted. 
<laughs> and now I can go back to eating rotten flesh when things get bad. Uh, Mr. Slime must pay for, it, for his freedom. Sewer property is free real estate. No, for real. You, 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 you have anything that you want will just go away from you. Like, something I think about is why we didn't, while we were making sewers, we could have expanded the concept to like all waste if we wanted to. Like, think about it. We could have made it so that every single, I, like, the, the way we do waste right now is so inefficient in my opinion. Someone drives a big bulky lorry to your house, sorry, a, a truck, a garbage truck to your house. Um, they, they pick up your bin manually and they put it in there and then they take that to a big dump and we leave it in the ground and we, you know, like, what, what's going on there? Instead, what we could have done if we'd have forward funk, if we just made a big pipe that could deal with sewage, but also with waste, we could just make a big hole in the ground of all of that. It would probably compost to get, I don't even know. It'd be very gross to look at and go through. But then, I, I guess actually we need to recycle the water from sewerage, so that's a thing. By the way, if you want to look American X at some point, thank you, Metallic Prime. Also, Darfy asks, Toy Cat, what are you going to do when you finally get water? I'm going to start fishing, obviously. I'm so excited to fish, I can make name tags and enchantments and uh, all that stuff. And then hopefully we can do a little bit more iron farming to make like uh, an anvil or something. It'll be fun. Okay, so we only have 46 of these, which isn't going to be enough to actually finish this, I don't think. I'm hoping it is anyway, though. Oh, maybe it is. Okay, next layer comes in. Oh, yeah, it's looking looking good. And then next layer comes in. So we, we cover that and stuff, and then the next layer is like this. And we cover this in blocks, and then there's one top layer that is that. Oh yeah, you see this internet? We have officially... I like that. We have officially, uh... Done our Party thing. Toy Pookie! Pat. When people panic bought hand sanitizer, I bought hard liquor and <laughs> poured it into a spray bottle to sanitize my hands and mouth. Here is your allowance. So first of all, very funny, enjoy that. Second of all, uh, you know, like... like I, 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 I think, I, I don't think I ever saw people panic by hand sanitizer. Like, I guess, like, maybe it's just a difference. But, like, it was always, like, the random other essentials, like pasta um, over here that people bought. Because, like, with COVID supplies, I feel like you just couldn't get them. And then they were so abundant, you could get them all of the time. Like, masks or whatever. I thought about this a lot, but the, the companies selling tests, m masks too, but, like, tests to a big extent, made so much money in these last few years convincing us that like yep this is the this is the solution you buy as many tests from us as you can and then you require these tests for as many things as possible that just trust us like and the amount that you get charged to do a test is like so hilariously high like i think i think about this quite constantly about how we all just collectively got ripped off by some medical companies because we figured also our mobs gonna spawn there yet because our roof isn't Quite wide enough, I wouldn't say. Yeah, we're gonna need a lot more wood. It's also hitting me, just how much wood we're gonna need. Because it's only dark enough in the very center for mobs to not spawn. We used to buy uh, large bags of rice. It was so hard to find for a while. Yeah, I can imagine, right? I there was a it was it was a it was a weird phase for humanity that we went through there. They charge you. Oh yeah, so if you want to do a test for travel, they always charge you, right? In the UK, that's true. Like we have this, we have this fun concept. It's called healthcare. Um, so I, I, I think that's funny. Like there's <laughs> so, so many times I read about American people means now. Like, well, the UK is, you know, the reason the UK is great is because you guys have healthcare. It's like every country has healthcare. What you're probably meaning is we have government paid for healthcare, where you pay for it via your taxes rather than, you know, there's no bill at the hospital because you've already paid for it. But that doesn't cover like travel tests, and so you pay a lot of money. And every a lot of countries have a similar policy where like, yeah, you have to pay for a test if it's for travel reasons. Um, and so like, but the amount they would charge you, you know, for a test that takes them, you know, like a, a marginal cost in the in the pennies would be eighty pounds because they know that you need this thing. This has been required because they've lobbied companies to make sure that it's required. Uh, they've lobbied governments, sorry, and it's like. Are we for, for realsies? We th this is just okay. We're all like these, whatever. And also, um, we specifically got ripped off by companies owned by friends of the Tory government. Boris and Joe conveniently handed out manufacturing contacts to the besties. I think 
I think the the because that that is also like that there is uh, some truth to that, right? The 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 way a lot of the early stuff was done in the UK, like we've confirmed, was a little bit dodgy. Uh, maybe a little bit dodgy. Who knows? But I I just think it's the weirdest thing that like because you, you know like that of of all the companies like it's not just companies who made masks and all these other things there there'd be lots of cases where the government would give a large amount of money to someone and then they would just go and buy the thing and it's like couldn't you have just bought the things directly like there's there's so many weird examples um and uh yeah because during a during an emergency air quotes we all have to act in like this different way and i think it's kind of made me realize why having something that is a big I don't know, like, I think, looking back, we can all say, you know, like, oh, well, now we know perfectly what the right amount of reaction was, you know, like, well, we overreacted this way, we underreacted this way. But, like, uh, we can say that, like, yeah, saying there was any level of emergency was probably a little bit of a dangerous thing, and cost us all so much. <laughs> but I, I think we do this in our personal lives, too, right? It's not just governments that fall for this. Like, we... I, I'm sure. Tell me if you tell me if I'm wrong here, Internet. But I'm sure. I'm sure in your personal life somewhere, you've fallen victim to the uh, the trap of like, oh god, right now I need to do this thing and you know like overpay for it or whatever else. Short attention spans. Governments love them. It's because uh, you know, uh, people, pe pe I, I guess like people do so many things and most of those things aren't being politically engaged, because like. How much does politics really affect your life? The answer is not really a lot. And then an election cycle comes around and politicians try really hard to convince you why politics is actually everything that affects your life. Um, but yeah, I think it's a whole crazy thing. I don't want to talk politics too much. I'm sorry. Um, you know what? Do you want to talk about... Since we've done politics, we've done religion. I guess we're talking about Star Wars next, huh? Don't you guys just love that prequel trilogy thing? Like... You know, the, the original movies were fine, but where, where Star Wars really shines is in those prequels. Uh, paying 10% over for a pre-order. I'm still mad because um, I wanted to get one of those folding galaxy phones, and I was like this close to buying one just before release. But then I decided I'll just wait till it comes out a few days after. And um, the price just went, it went up very slightly. And they stopped including um, some headphones that were going to be free. And so it just became a worse deal. And it's like, ah, oh, I'm so used to pre-orders meaning nothing. That I genuinely didn't believe that there was such thing as a pre... Like, that they would actually give something better. I, I, I thought it would just be like, ah. And so I got bum I got burned by actually trusting a... By I, got, I got burned by not trust... Oh, God. I got burned because I've been burned too many times before. Prequel Trilogy is the best trilogy. Sequel Trilogy is trash. Original Trilogy was meh. I, I genuinely think as as people age who like grew up with the prequels that because you know it used to be the go-to opinion was they are the worst do not talk about the prequel trilogy but as they age and especially the people who watch them age I do feel like it is one of those movie trilogies that really is gonna grow favorably on people it's kind of like Minecraft updates right I mean I think like a really poorly received Minecraft update is like I don't know 1.9 or even, I, I saw someone saying that actually 1.11 1. 1. Uh, was one of the best updates. Because think about how bad a place we'd be in without the shulker box. Um, I'd say 1.11 was loved on its release for Woodland Mansions. But the feature in 1.11 that actually changed Minecraft was the shulker boxes. Or was it? Was the firework uh, Elytra thing in 1.11 too? I think it was. Like those two features have changed Minecraft so much more than any update after it. Even if it had more features. Um, also, what are some non-fiction books you'd recommend, says Pete Diaz D. Uh, I really liked, um, what's it called? Uh, Homo Deus? Or maybe it's Homo Sapiens by, uh, it's by some guy from Israel. I forget his name. He's got a, he's got a fun name. Um, it's a, uh, it's a book. Yeah, that's my explanation. Um, but yeah, no, I, uh, I, I do think that, oh, wow, we're still getting saplings from the first tree as well as from the second tree. So we're actually going to start growing our wood supply. Again, something that is very important to be doing, in my opinion. But, um, yeah, it's a, so it's a book about uh, how humans evolve and stuff. There's also one, uh, I, I started reading the sequel book, too, like Commodeus, like the future. I also, I recently finished a book about, it was like 50 economic inventions that changed the world. 
the one that fascinates me most. I don't know why. Like, it's the... It's like... It shows that, like, humans can learn so much that's so interesting, but we'll get caught up on the dumbest things. Sapiens by Nova Yuval something. Yeah, that's... that's I like that book. My husband found a VHS copy of the OG Trilogy series at a, a thrift store. He paid 150 and they're in perfect condition. It's sad because that sort of story of, like, finding a really good deal at, like, a bargain, you know, thrift store basement thing, that's kind of going away because every charity store and every, like, um... You know, like, bargain store that exists. Now what they do when they get an item is they check eBay to see roughly what it's worth. And then they'll set that as the price. So now you don't find those, like, amazing deals anymore. Is hetero sapiens a thing? You know what it is? Kind of, you know, you, you're right. There should be hetero sapiens. Why, why do we be like that, right? Messy Jesse asks, are you going to shovel the whole world, lol? That's the plan. Shovel the world block by block and remove the mobs. Except the sheep. The sheep can stay. Okay, so now we've got enough wood that we can hopefully finish our roof. Enough that more than a couple mobs will spawn while we do our dirt thing. Buy Toy Cat's book. Oh, I, I don't remember making a book. I'm going to see what link that takes us to. Uh, oh, I remember that. That was fun. I, I, I spent... I, I, I had, like, so many book concepts that, like, when... That, like, I was, like, making to go somewhere. And then they... You know, I, I guess what I'm trying to say here is, like, at one point, I was, like, uh... Actually, if you want to know a weird thing, one of the things that, like... One of my supplementary sources of income when I started doing YouTube full-time was being, like, a, a, an Amazon or like, a, you know, Kindle author, whatever you want to call it. Writing the book things. Because I, I... Like, the, the, the thing I used to make money to become a YouTuber was writing. I don't think I was ever very good at it, which is <laughs> maybe, you know, weird to say out loud. But I don't think I ever did writing well. But I did, because I'm going to place a block under there, so I can place a block over here. And we're not going to think about how we're going to place ones under there for now. Actually, wait, we'll just do the next block next. We're definitely going to want to do at least one more. And then we can break both of these blocks. And there we go. Um, paths are for walking, yet mobs refuse to spawn on them. Honestly, that's insulting to the path. I agree with Bolt B. You know what? You raise a very good point. It was a fun book. Thank you for enjoying it. I, I don't know, but like, uh, I, I guess I'm just, I, I find, I, I spend, I, I always figured like, I don't know how I'm putting this, but yeah, I, fa fa thank you for reminding me that thing existed. It's, I, it's weird that I've been on the internet so long, I just forget that I've done some things. And I'm like, oh wow, I guess I did technically do that, huh? That's fun. <laughs> okay, so half slab all the way around here, and then half slab all the way around here. The reason we're placing half... Okay, so the reason we're placing a block than a half slab, it seems redundant. But we want it to be solid underneath, but uh, half blocked on the top. So that way no light gets through, because if it was a half slab, light would get through. But also so that mobs don't spawn on the top. Mobs can't spawn on half blocks. They also can't spawn on dirt paths, but I think this is going to look slightly prettier on the outside. And so that's why we're doing it this way. Uh, finish off the slabs from the top. There we go. Very nice think you'll find. And, uh, oh, is this already done? I guess it must. Yeah, that's a half slab. So now we now we do one more layer around the edge, and that allows more mobs to spawn, because right now we've got a cap over the top, but do you see how light is still getting through to most of that? Because light can come in from the sides. So we need to stop the light coming in from the sides as much as we can. And so every layer of these we build stops light coming in from one more block. We probably can't do much of it right now, but we can start the process. If nothing else. Okay. Nice and easy. If we don't put the half slabs on top, by the way, no bombs will spawn it during the day. But we want to night proof it as well. And that's why we're doing it. The way that we're doing it. And so there we go. Now there's like a slightly wider area on the inside that won't spawn mobs. And now we'll make that area even more. Okay. Apparently I did that wrong. Oh, there we go. We just got to place off the side of that. Okay, nice. So now there should be genuinely like a real... Do you see that darkness there? That should be able to spawn in mobs, I think. I could do the maps, I guess. 15... No, I don't know if it is. <laughs> so, um... Does this world have generated structures like villages? If you want to take a look around and tell me, I would welcome you to do so. I've got some bad news if you're expecting to find any, though. Okay, let's let's keep going. 
let's keep the progress moving. Do this all the way around. Yeah, I think we might need to, a whole extra layer just to even start the darkness zone beginning. Or we should just build up on the sides. That could also be a good idea. Um, what difficulty are you on? Because hard might be more beneficial. Uh, the only reason that we, we don't need the armor that you're suggesting, Michael, thank you for the idea, is um, because we don't have a, we can't get furnaces, as best I know. Uh, as sad as that is to say out loud. Okay, so just place enough of these on each side. Okay, yep, we're good. Just so, just so we understand what half slabs are and what they are. Now we need to go another block down. So we do that by placing a block here, I guess. Yep. And then we follow this all the way around. And then we place half slabs on top of this. And it gets real fun real fast, basically. Okay. Oh, I shouldn't have done so many of those, but it's fine. Okay, now... <laughs> now, finally, that should be dark enough to mobs the spawn. We don't know for sure if it is, but we're out of wood anyway, and so it's not the biggest deal. Um, yeah, and it's also dark down here now, too. So that, this is, we now have to mob-proof this slightly better. But I'm just going to test this right now. I'm going to take a drink. If I stand here, mobs might be able to spawn in the center of that. So if you're confused as to what's going on, Dylan uh, Darvani, I need to get zombies. Zombies are what I have need very badly. Have to third shift tonight so I can't catch much of the stream. Have a great weekend. No, you have a great weekend, uh, Riggins Rally Girl. You you have a... No, no, no. Don't have a great weekend. You have the best weekend a person can have. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, that's 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 what you do to people. To show them. Uh, but no, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you want me to have a good weekend. I, I'm actually going to have a fun, fun day tomorrow. I'm going to an aquarium. It's been so long since I've been to an aquarium. Not, not everyone in the world likes aquariums. Some people think they're bad to... To, 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 to penguins or whatever else. Man, you know what? Why are penguins at aquariums? That is that is a weird... Like, also, slimes are definitely spawning. Aha! A mob spawn. So as you can see... So the, here's the basic mechanics. We have a dark area up there that only mobs can spawn in. Yeah, that's, we make it so the only place that mobs can spawn is up there. We haven't done that yet, but we've only partially done it. But still, right now, as you can see, it vaguely worked. Then... The mobs will fall down like this one does, and then if they fall too too low down because of this, uh, it's bad. Okay, so we can kill him, and that way we can kill mobs and get their kill mobs get their drops. And the reason we're doing this is because we want to get enough zombies to get enough iron to get a cauldron. And so everything that we're doing here, either the spawn proofing, you know, placing the the dirt paths around the edge, or placing a bigger roof to make it darker and make more mobs spawn there is all about this same one concept that we're just really sticking ourselves into. And so yeah, now you know. The more you know, isn't it going well? I actually I actually really do think this is going well. Like seeing the progress is very very inspiring. I love the irony of killing mobs using full damage in a super flat world. <laughs> I di I didn't really I didn't probably appreciate that till just now. Uh too pooky. You know, I like that. I like that a lot. Um <laughs> I love this fun. <sighs> um, this is really fun, says Dill's Hub. I'm glad you're liking it. I'm, I'm enjoying the series too. It's it's been a lot of the the progress we're making. It's slow and it's like grindy, but like yes, it's I'm seeing it come in now. Like we actually have like a proper big structure that is slowly getting made, and uh, yeah. So I can't finally building a, any type of iron farm under duress is exactly the kind of WTF entertainment I needed on this lovely Friday afternoon. Thank you so much for 28 months, by the way, Robin Brooks. That is nuts. It's good to see you, by the way, again. It's always cool to see a, a friendly face, even after it's been some time. Okay, so we're gonna... We, we now officially have three trees worth of um, saplings, which is, is a big milestone. Oh, wow, three trees in a bit. So we're gonna grow this tree, I guess. Yep. Oh, look at all the... Actually, see, look, for some reason, all of the leaves didn't come in correctly. It's a good thing we have more now. It's, it's not our biggest of concerns. And we're going to get so many wood blocks in just now. We're just going to... There we go. Just get enough wood blocks in that we can deal with everything else after. Do add-ons disable the achievements when added? Uh, they usually do, yes. But because... You know, the whole point of this was meant to be that achievements would be allowed on the world. 
But they they fixed it the week after, so we're, we're in the preview for no reason. You know, it's it's one of those big, one of those great mistakes of my life. Tree trees. I have tree trees. Um, the other tree only has three saplings. Oh no, you're right. Okay, I'm sorry. My bad. There we go. <laughs> oh, and also we have an extra sapling. How, how lovely. So, um, yeah, we need a lot of wood to make sure the platform's dark, because that way it can just kind of operate while we're not in there. Oh, that was weird. Been mostly catching replays lately. Work is bananas, but glad to be able to catch a live stream live. It's glad to know you've been there in spirit. See, watching a live stream not live is like a... I, I'm, I'm glad there's a lot of people who enjoy it, by the way. Totally think that's fun. But um, I do also think that... Um, there's, like, there's something very interesting about it. Like, it's the... Oh, wait, why do we make so many wood axes? Oh, God, what's wrong with me? Um, <laughs> I guess I was thinking of shovels and just kind of mass-made them in a way that I really shouldn't have. Well, I guess, I guess eventually I'm going to use them. So why not? Um, I thought you were done with the series, says the whack deck. Okay, you know what? I thought, I bet, you know, at one point I thought that I was done with unhealthy eating. But then, then you better believe I ordered a burger today anyway. Bro, you're paying attention to your surroundings. I'm not. It's 11 p.m. It's getting late. I need to... You know, this is this is the problem with streaming late and like caring about my sleep schedule. Is at some point you have this like conflict between the real world and your Minecraft world. I just want to keep chilling and breaking the box though. But yeah, today today we've made some huge progress so far. I'm glad he's done the series. Thank you very much, Ryan Hips. The uh, the design idea was uh, was incredibly appreciated. Um, I uh, fought some pole vaulting. I'm glad that your friend did well in the pole vaulting. 17 AJ06. I, I really want a pole vault. I've, ne I've never done it, but it does look very fun. It looks like it'd be incredibly fun to do. Um, okay, so now we got enough wood that we can throw my axes away. I have too many axes. Like, <laughs> for real, too, too many axes. Um, it's getting a little bit mixed up in here, too. Oof. Okay, so the top layer is going to be axes. Then the middle and bottom layers can be shovels. And then we can craft some more shovels. Now we've got so much more wood. Okay. So shovel, 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 shovel. And then we'll use the rest of the wood to make that platform darker. Also, what we're going to do, just I, I want to get some amount of this working and functional, is we're going to stop mob spawning down here because the further we get in, the more of a problem that becomes. So, uh, actually, wait, does anyone know the... Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm going to just place down some half slabs. And I'm going to hope that it works. Because I think it would add to the appeal of the thing. So, Cat, okay, once you get a single villager, make it a Fletcher. Once it becomes a master, it will sell tipped arrows. And then, oh no, I want to hear why I want tipped arrows. Barely done any coding today, lol. Oh well, after that till bedtime, I'm going to work on my game. I think uh, productivity is so hard some days. And like... Something I've been learning is like, okay, don't chastise yourself too hard for not getting some. Just make sure you do it. And like, that's easier said than done sometimes too. But it's something I've been working on at least. Okay, so... I, um... Are you going to make a cauldron to get water? Says Crossy Productions. Exactly. That's why I need all this iron. Because once I have water, I can go fishing. Which will solve my food problem. It's, it gives me a saddle so I can ride a horse around. Like, my life changes in a, in a very real, measurable way. Uh, also, another mob fell down. Okay. We're going to place some half slabs around here next. If you're, I know you're streaming late, but I'm glad to catch the streams because of time zone differences. I, uh, I, guess, I, I think I always stream about 8 to 10 usually, and now it's been like 8.30ish to like 11ish because we've been going for two and a quarter hours. I guess that means I started about 8.45. I forgot to account for Toy Cat late time, my bad. Um, I need another crafting table here, truthfully. I guess we'll chop this down, place a crafting table there, and just hope that mobs don't fall on it. That is my new genius idea. I guess I could just place it one block even lower down than that. Yeah, sure, why not? That makes as much sense as anything else. Um, and now we're going to craft a ton of slabs. Like, we need so many slabs. And just for now, we're going to use them to cover up this hole. Again, I want to test this works before I commit to using the concept too much more. 
Um, also, I want to make sure these walls are flat. So I'm actually not going to do this very edged line here. I'm going to make sure I turn it back into grass. Oh, we have to stop mobs spawning under there. Oh, wait, it's, it's bedrock. There's no issue. But just to be extra sure. We... Mobs can't spawn on bedrock for some reason. I, I mean, it makes sense, but also it's a bit weird. But just to make sure nothing spawns down here. Everything should be bedrock or nothing. And so there we go. There's a void down there, but it's not a problem. It's not a problem with the void. Whew. Okay. Um, you can get bamboo from fishing if you're in a jungle. Sadly, I can't get a jungle. Because there's no biomes. I think everything's a plains biome. It might not be a plains. It might be something else. But it's... It's definitely not a jungle, sadly. Um, See, so yeah, we're going to place slabs around the edge now. Worst case, it will just be like a little platform. But I'm hoping this works in my favor. Oh, it's really hard. You know, I hate, hate to tell you, Slime. You know, I hate to be unhospitable. But you are kind of uh, messing with my my building that I'm trying to do here. And now you messed up my path. hate to tell you, but you're really, really a bit of a bummer here. I think this must be a slime chunk then, right? I don't know how... Maybe it's not. Maybe maybe it's just not built on a chunk correctly. <laughs> maybe like one of the chunks is a slime chunk. I'm not even sure at this point. Bedrock is considered to not be a full block. But why is bedrock considered not be a full block? Because it very clearly is one. Okay, so I'm going to keep breaking shovels down until they get super low. Just for a little bit of... Uh, Oh no, the slime's gonna catch me. I guess we'll just go up the stairs. He can't get me there. Also, a creeper just spawned down here, so you can see why I need to fix this sooner rather than later. Place the rest of the slabs as we go past. And then climb the staircase. Oh, please no. No, why did he explode? He was... <laughs> pain. Life is pain. Um, should we just, should we just shovel this all into, yeah, let's just shovel all of the inside. Oh man, I hate you so much. I hate you more than I could describe in words. Oh, he's trapped there. Okay, that's great. So in the meantime, we'll just shovel the inside. Oh, it looks kind of ugly now, actually. Ugh. For anyone who wanted to find tipped arrows, you can't because you can't get flint to make a fletching table. Yeah, that is that is the sad reality of this. Please not. Whoa, no, he's just gonna bounce up. I guess that's how I can kill him. Unless he hits me first, huh? I hope he can't. Oh well, he's too stupid to follow me up. We're good. Whew. Okay, that was that was a little little silly. It's a full block. It's just transparent and untransponable. Oh yeah, bedrock is transparent because you can put um beacons will go through it. I wonder if uh which way round they decided that behavior. That is, that is one of the weirdest Minecraft blocks when you really when you really get down to it though, right? Because of that very reason. Okay, so now we have another block that starts here. And then we move around with this. This one's a little bit of a trickier one to work with, so... Oh gosh, what are we going to do about that? Um, we can break these blocks now because they're not necessary. Oh, we can use the slabs. That's great. And then we can start placing the wood blocks around that make the darkness that make all of the fun things possible. Okay, so more and more darkness is starting to appear. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Um, you should visit Colorado at IBX to account, says Jacob Ortiz. I visited Colorado many times. See, it's... I feel like almost like... It's almost boring because I've traveled too many places being like, yeah, I've been... If it's, it's, if, it's a, if it's a place worth going to, I've probably been. I'm sorry. It'd be more interesting. Oh, I should put slime blocks down. Now that I'm, like, building up here so often, I should have a little slime block in the corner so I can come down with a little bit more ease. Um, yeah, but yeah, we need to... We need to work a new way out to get up there. So that's going to be a block that I'm going to climb on. But how would I get to that? I guess we would... Oh yeah, this is this is gonna be a nightmare that I have not considered fully yet. We'll remove this block for now, and we'll build around it. But I need to go get my saplings because they're on the ground over there. I need to make sure they don't despawn. Because again, it, I I could get back to a dire situation if I'm not careful, and I'd like to not be in a dire situation if I can avoid it. Whew. You should make a list of places which aren't worth going to and head to the top ten. Says Charlie Dodds. 
<laughs> now that's a fun idea. That's that is a fun idea. I like that. Okay, so next time, look at that by the way. We now have two full trees plus seven saplings. I think we've gone past the point where we're almost gonna lose trees forever, which is big positive. But um, yeah, next time what we're gonna do is we're gonna finish this farm. Right, during during this 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 uh, live stream, I feel like we made amazing progress. Like look at look at what we've done so far. Actually, look, I'll show you this in the morning. Um but we we made some amazing progress today. Like I it's 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 cool having seen how much has happened. Because previously we just built like these dumb little houses, this dumb little farm. Like, you know, we made some progress, we made some things happen. But the real progress is this now, right? Like, look at that. Isn't this cool? It looks I I, I, I think it's cool at least. And so, um yeah, we're gonna we're gonna continue that on a little bit more. We're gonna make the dome wider. We're gonna spawn proof this area right in front of me. And we're also gonna uh, spawn proof the area all the way in this big square. It's gonna take a lot of shovels, but you know what? It's a good thing that I have a lot of shovels on me, huh? It's a good thing I just so happened to have spent a lot of time gathering lots and lots of shovels. And so yeah, probably tomorrow I think we'll do that. I wanna do it right now, but it's 11.07. Um, I, I need to get some sleep. Thank you for coming along. Uh, the stream was a lot of fun. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow if you want to join. Uh, and I should have a video out, like, probably now, honestly. I don't know why I don't have a video. Oh, and if you're a member, do you want to watch me playing Kirby for an hour? Uh, that'll be a members-only thing, I guess, because I, I don't think it's a good video. I, I don't want it to, like, be public so it doesn't, like, impact the stats or whatever. Um, maybe I'll unlist it and I'll just, like, link it to the channel. I don't know what the plan is, but if you're a member, you can uh, see a video of me playing Kirby for an hour. You don't want to watch it, but if you do, you shouldn't, but yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll link it on the member page. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye. No, for real, there's like no commentary. It's just, it's just Kirby. It's just, it's just, it's just a little pink bubble flying through the air. You, you don't want to watch it. See you tomorrow. Pot five. We'll make this finish.